Today's episode of ContinueCast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audibletrial.com slash continue show. Over 100,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, and MP3 player. Today we're recommending Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. Be sure to get your free audiobook at audibletrial.com slash continue show. This is ContinueCast. Everybody and welcome to another episode of the Continue Cast, the twice monthly podcast where we play a retro video game and let you know if we would continue or game over. My name is Paul. My name is Nick. I am Josh. And we have a very, very special go- goose. <laughs> we have a goose. goose. We have a goose on the show this week. Oh shit! There's <laughs> a goose here. <laughs> Dude, that's a shame because he dies. <laughs> goose dies. Oh, it's actually Gucci. Oh, it's no. Gucci Mon. Oh, it's Luis Guzman. That's who it is. Luis Guzman. Luis Guzman's here. Oh, nice. man, yeah. I've never been the same after I was in that movie with Dane Cook. <laughs> yeah, that movie's all right. Waiting. That movie's all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, like I that like that movie. movie. That, one, that was a good right. movie. It's all right. They should have called it 86. That would, would have been better with Jay Baruchel instead of uh, Justin Long. Justin Long, yeah. That yeah. Kind of, kind of yeah. a dingus. Is that who was supposed to be in that movie? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know the history of that movie. In the movie producer role. It was actually supposed to be directed by Sam Mendes, but he walked out because Kate Winslet wouldn't shave her bush <laughs> <laughs> the look of just like sheer like shock in josh's eyes right now not even shock it's like I, it's like you're just like i'm i'm just dead to the world now i just can't believe kate winslet wouldn't shave her bush <laughs> i know it trimmed down to the size that that chick who showed her bush needed right. it to be just hit it with that three <laughs> just hit it with that buzzer the three yeah, setting man. Just give it a little. Just get the top, clear the top up. You know, yeah, just a little bit off the top. <laughs> just mow the lawn a little bit. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. What's up with that? Why wouldn't she do that? I don't know. Probably because she was afraid to show it to Andy Milanakis. <laughs> I would be afraid of that. <laughs> what was Yo, that? did you know Andy Mil- Milanakis like still does stuff? Yeah, like on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I thought he's he was YouTube dead. Dude. No, no, he ain't dead. He's like a YouTube dude. I thought he was like had reverse Benjamin Button and was just aging extremely quickly. <laughs> yeah, he did. yeah. But but without his body age, aging, he has like, he has like, reverse like, progeria, like Rever- regular aging. I was just gonna say reverse age. Yeah, reverse <laughs> Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button is just regular aging. Yeah. <laughs> he go. has that, but <laughs> Paul Paul. But his body his body doesn't physically grow. Oh yeah. So what is Mentally that? That's grows. like ja- that's like no Jack was that's like he, Jack. No Jack. Jack was, he's reverse Jack. What? He has yeah, reverse Jack, Jack where his Jack, body yeah. stays young. But right. his, but Jack his... was Robin Williams as like a baby, right? Ja- he was <laughs> he was like a four year old. Yeah, yeah. But no, he was a kid, and then he he, he his mental state stayed, but his body grew in an ac- accelerated yeah. rate. Oh. So or Mork did reverse. the same thing. Like Gary Coleman has yeah. that, right? Yeah, right. Webster. Yeah, yeah. Webster. Rest, okay, and I'm Luke. So <laughs> how's everybody doing? <laughs> tangent cast starting early. Yeah, <laughs> but reverse Jack. Okay. Would be where your body would would not grow, but your mind would grow would faster, and break. your mind would die. You'd be like Wolverine. So yeah, Andy Milnakis will be men, mind dead in at least ten years. Scanners, yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Yo, does that happen to Wolverine? Does he get like old and like? No, because his brain no. like his brain like heals and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Everything Dude. regenerates. Yeah. All right. Cool. Everything. All right, all right, all right. I want to be a Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> be a reverse Wolverine. <laughs> reverse I know, man. Wolverine. I want to degenerate. <laughs> yeah. Reverse Wolverine is if you have like HIV. <laughs> you just can't handle anything. <laughs> Oh, Welcome to the dark cast. <laughs> All right, shit got real. This week we're playing Psychonauts. Speaking of mm. getting dark and getting inside of brains, yeah, and Ooh. reverse jacking. Nice work, nice. everybody at the table. Yeah, that was that was good. good tan, yeah. good segue. We that just we just like rolled into that one. That was just an accidental roll down a hill into the top. Stumbled into yeah. it. Uh, we're playing Psychonauts, which uh, you know is made by uh, Double Fine Productions, which have um, put out some pretty big games. Nothing, Such as? Oh, nothing, yeah. Nothing massive. But like they've, what um, games have they put out, I don't know if they put out You want to hear some games? I would love to hear some, mm-hmm. games, hear some games. I'm not familiar. <laughs> they put out Brutal Legend. Do you remember? Yeah. I do remember that. Jack Black, right? Yeah, that okay. was Jack Black. Cool, cool. Probably the, their largest game. We're looking at Luke. Uh, he he's the expert. <laughs> I think it's probably Maybe their... like budget-wise before Double Fine Adventure, which got a huge budget. Right. Budget-wise, but I'm saying like... Um, 
popularity wise. Yes, yeah, popularity critical, wise, critical acclaim. acclaim. Not maybe not critical acclaim, mm, but um, critical reception. Yeah. No, th- there was plenty of other stuff that was critically received well. Just sales wise. Yeah, uh, yeah that's what I mean. I mean like commercially, commercially accepted. Like, Brutal yeah. Legend yeah. may possibly have been the best, but it also still <coughs> underperformed tremendously. Right. Like all their games have, sadly. Um, Costume Quest. Uh, which is an XBLA oh, that game. That game's fun. I yeah, I like that game. It's yeah. good. Stacking was also very popular. Like uh, that game you play with cups on YouTube that people do? Yeah, what are they saying that's no, no, they like, game uh, about like Perestroika dolls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perestroika <laughs> Babushka dolls. Like, like oh, Pussy like Riot dolls. dolls. Pussy Riot dolls. <laughs> pussy Riot dolls. <laughs> yes. Free, free Pussy Riot. <laughs> <laughs> this oh is the God. political cast. Welcome to the political yeah. punk rock cast. That's right. That's Josh. I like to spout my agenda now. Yeah, and get punk rock as fuck. Yeah. You, you like you like your punk rock girls to look like dumb Donald. That's oh my God. I like them to just be damaged. <laughs> <laughs> just totally damaged. I, I'm not even gonna comment. On that. <laughs> um, <laughs> then they also did the cave, which is like a, a more recent one. That was the Kickstarter game. Okay, okay. Uh, that was All the right. game that they did that first. I think it was the first Kickstarter, right? It was for the cave, and that got them that the first video game Kickstarter. Not the well, not the, the first, first one ever, but that was like their first like one that blew up. You know what I mean? It's like, like that creepy pasta where like the game like you go to they find the hole and then they dig out the hole and the cave never ends and they find like a dead body inside don't say that i yeah. think that might be based on that really yeah. no that's no this, i don't know this is a very different cave there's a movie based on it's that like the allegory yeah Yo, you're talking about the cave is that the movie the movie the cave sure <laughs> the leonardo DiCaprio movie are you talking about the island? The island. Oh, no. no. It's the movie, the island. That's the beach. The, That's beach. the beach. Oh, the beach. Talking about beach. the movie, the beach. Yes. I'm talking about the aviator. That movie's really good. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the descent. I was talking about a figurative oh. hole, like a cave that he goes into in his mind. Uh, oh. That's the aviator. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do the aviator cast? We're going great. We're doing great here, this man. Is, this is, is yeah. rolling along. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, no, I think that I'm going to look up right now. I think that uh, the cave was indeed there. While you're like looking up on him. My favorite part of the aviator is when he totally starts to lose it. You know, when he gets, like, gets like all like, we got the come tissue in with the boxes milk, on come his in feet. with the milk, come in with the milk, come in with the milk. Right. That's my favorite part. That's your favorite part? Yeah, dude, it's so interesting. Oh, that's terrifying. I That makes me feel bad for him. Well, I mean, oh, for him in the movie. Yeah. Like, well, well, I mean, yeah. the character slash well, that's, I mean, the I real guy. Well, I think that's guy. the most interesting part yeah. of it. I mean, I mean he, technically, all the other stuff is interesting. You, know? you don't like the when he like gets in that plane crash? That's no, no, that's horrifying, dude. He's like a burned man. Yeah. Oh, when he tries to like get out of yeah, the plane it's and it's on fire and he touches the glass and it burns. That him movie is just like here's all this terrible shit that happened to this famous oh, guy. <laughs> I was wrong. I guess the cave wasn't the balls one. back. Um, <laughs> it was uh, Double Fine Adventure. Right. That's the one that made super loads of money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I thought that I thought the cave was that one. So the cave no. was just announced at the same time as that though. They announced like the the trademark for the name is what it said for the cave. Gotcha. That's where I got mixed up. Okay, I thought those were. Um, and the Double same. Fine Adventure is now called. Uh, has it's a real uh, title. Uh, Broken Age. Broken Age, which yeah. looks all right. I, I, I think it looks really cool. I hope it's, they actually the, finish it's a, it. It's the follow up to Grim Fandango, which is another. Okay. Not Double Fine game, but a Tim Schafer game. I okay. thought it said it had something to do with. Or no, you know what? It they talk about on the Broken Age wiki. They talk about. Um, Grim Fandango because I think it's his first true adventure title. Oh, okay. Um, yes, or true like follow up to that or something like that. I think that, I don't mm-hmm. remember exactly. I'm mm-hmm. I'm all over the place here. Yeah. Um, but so Tim Schafer is a notable individual on this team. Obviously, mm-hmm. he's sort of the uh, lifeblood of Double Fine Productions. Okay. Um, he started out uh, working on Maniac Mansion for the oh, NES. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, he actually uh, emailed us about no, it was Ron Gilbert that emailed us about our trailer. Oh really? Mansion. Yeah, I didn't Gilbert know that. Did. That's awesome. Yeah, you didn't know. You don't mm-hmm. remember that? He no. emailed you, me and Sarah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I was like, yeah. hey, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> he said, hey, I thought you think it was really cool. Oh, yeah. That's he, he, nice. I think he wrote about it on his uh, blog too. Yeah. You guys didn't tell me about that. You got Nick, the email. Th- to be fair, Nick, this was like five years ago. Yeah, so it's probably yeah, just don't remember. Ago. Yeah, I guess I don't remember. <laughs> it's a shame because that sounds like something that would resonate with me. <laughs> and I remember like a tweet from Sam Levine retweeting right. our Inglorious Bastards thing and I forget right. like a heartfelt email from the guy. Like a man, real like, letter. Like, yeah. Hey, thanks for making yeah. my thing a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's not forget the most important one, which if we're doing name drop cast, name drop yeah, cast. which yeah. was when 
Oh, Edgar Wright. Well, Edgar no, Wright no, no. was was o- fine, but Olivia, Olivia Wilde, Wilde, Olivia Wilde, yeah, saying that. Oh yeah, on Twitter, everybody yeah. on Tron loved our Tron thing. Yeah, yeah. and she, including me, seeing me dressed as her. I know. She was really turned on by that. I, yeah, I'm she sure was. she was. Now that Edgar Wright thing was pretty cool. We're gonna do a name drop cast. That Edgar no, Wright Edgar Wright's awesome. fine, but Edgar Wright does not look like Olivia Wilde. <laughs> in my head, he does. and Edgar Wright <laughs> didn't see me dressed in drag as Olivia Wilde. That's true. That's true. So you know, that is true. <laughs> um, yeah, Tim Schafer worked with Ron Gilbert on uh, Maniac Mansion. Okay, um, a lot of those old scum yeah, engine games. Exactly. He Data got to start. Tentacle. Yeah, he got okay. that's that was one of his games. Actually, it was uh, his first game that he actually did was Monkey Island. Okay, um, so he's behind one. that too. This guy is like a juggernaut. Of point and click gaming. adventures, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotcha. didn't know about you don't of, know about Tim Schafer. Mildly no. unsuccessful, but critically acclaimed. Yeah, games. yeah. So and that, he's Tom York of the video game stuff. Uh, I would uh, say Tom York's probably more. No, you know what? That's actually an accurate yeah, thing because Tom York had the the uh, pay your own, pay what you will success. Yeah, and everybody was the, like, "Oh, Radiohead is great." It's just like, "Oh, Brutal Legends great." And he's like, "Oh, yeah." Mm. I mean, I did some other shit too. Right. And they're never like commercially successful, but it's right critically acclaimed and I, I would say his success on kickstarter was analogous to the yeah, success on the pay what you will thing so well, i on, think that on was pablo a pablo honey on, yeah, on pablo <laughs> honey yeah, right. <laughs> dude can you imagine that dude people would have paid 25 dollars in like 1994 money for pablo honey yeah, yeah. that's what we used to pay for that's cds crazy. already yeah, that's like, what we used to be paying. <laughs> um he, he did monkey island that was he so he worked on maniac mansion okay uh, and he did writing on that, and he helped he helped out on that. But um, he then went on to do Mo- uh, Monkey Island because that was the first one that he was like writing. And apparently, Monkey Island was supposed to be a very serious pirate point and click adventure, mm. but they made a bunch of placeholder text <laughs> that was jokes that they just wrote. They just fired off jokes, and they were like, "Oh, this is actually funny. That's Let's just cool. make it a funny game." That's cool. And thus, his career has sort of been born out of that. What do you want to say, Josh? You've been, you've been I was like, just thinking in my head, like, I'm going through, like, what you just said, like, a serious pirate adventure, but I guess pirates are pretty serious. They're the least serious of the villains of the sea. Old what? pirates are. New pirates, they're, oh, pretty they're pretty fucking serious. How are they yeah. the least serious? They killed they, people. They drank and they, they drank their yeah. swill and they danced. Yeah, when they decks. finally they, got back to land. Yeah, they, were, they were revelers, <laughs> man. Up, man. They're like, guys, hey, we're finally on land again. No, they they remember pillage. how long it took to go places when there were pirates? No, they would bang on the ocean, man. I don't know if you ever you saw know. Other, Did you know how many women saw there the were Jenna on Jameson, the ocean? None, none Did you guys women. see the Jenna Jameson Pirates movie? They banged I saw in the that. Ocean. They banged in the ocean. Pirates Wenches. and Pirates 2 sang Natty's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw Way the to go. Nice. <laughs> I just remember from the first one, we were watching it at a party. It got theatrical release. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember, yeah. I remember they, were, they were banging the wenches, and they're like, God save the wenches! <laughs> and they smack their. their <laughs> so good. Their, Yo, what's the shit called? We should do a stream cups? of that. Yeah. Like the R rated one, the, the one where they cut out all, yeah, the, yeah. all the X rated stuff? Yeah. That'd be oh, really? Funny. The one yeah, that's yeah. like plot heavy, not sex heavy. There was, there there, was a plot so, heavy one? Yeah, I remember that. Right, so, yeah. so they want to make like a high budget porn thing, right? So there's like pirates. Which is like a fucking you know like a vivid porn title, mm-hmm. right? But then was there P? Was there like distinct P and V in that? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. There's like oh, P and V, yeah. but then they made like shown P and V or like yeah, Skinamax. Like, it's a made, straight up like porn. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. But then they made like a, like a like a Cinemax After Dark R rated right. version. Oh. That they put out in like oh like like fucking Blockbuster and like West Coast Video and shit. No way. And then that got a theatrical release. Good for them. Yeah, Good it's for like, vivid it's video. Like the <laughs> they needed. They a win. need yeah. some more money. They it's needed like the a win. Most man. expensive porn ever made. They needed a yeah. win. A lot, a lot of effects, a lot of skeletons. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I've seen it. I've yeah. watched it. I've watched the first one. We might have to do Skagnetis. What is yeah. Skagnetis? Oh, are you talking about the second and third? I haven't seen the oh, second. I saw the first one. one. I saw the first one. Are there more effects in those ones? Just, they, there's more banging. <laughs> <laughs> there are more effects. So yes, there are there's, more. Effects there's more. Then. There's more in camera effects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There's his dick. Where'd it go? There it is again. Where'd it go? <laughs> that guy's the Houdini of dicks. No, that woman is the Houdini. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I would say that's more of the uh, um, uh, David Copperfield of dicks. Oh, yeah, he made the Statue of Liberty disappear, man. <laughs> See, the Houdini is able to make his dick be trapped by the vagina and then escape the vagina and then be trapped. No by the man is able to do that, Paul. <laughs> Am I right, guys? 
He needed a win. Oh, he needed a win. <laughs> Have we even said the title of the name of the game yes, we I played? Yes, I know. Yeah, we are very tangent We were talking about, well, we were talking about the other, the side story, which is, I like the side story. No, I love it. I don't care. I'm just trying to remember if we even said. We did. We did. Okay. Tim Schafer, his biggest adventure hit was probably Grim Fandango, just from like a critical um, event a critical hit. He got a lot of critical coverage from that. A lot of people said it was. I think he got a game of the year um, from. I don't remember what it was. PC Gamer maybe or something. All right. Or Eurogamer or something. Uh, Paul. Uh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say yeah. it. Uh, what issue was that? On? <laughs> 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 it's amazing how many times this comes up. I know. That's great. I didn't think it ever happened until you brought it up. Yeah, and I, I do it to you. And now, I, now I like I can't stop myself from doing it. <laughs> I just noticed it because I do my I'm like doing research on the game and I'm like, oh, so they said fucking a, a game magazine again. Now I got to yeah, bring that up. Bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, so he got into all this. Basically, when he did Grand Fandango, he got all this critical acclaim. And that's when he started Double Fine. He went off and made his own company. And his first game was Psychonauts. And Psychonauts was picked up by a company called Majesco, which was a basically a shovelware company, a third like this really cheap right. shovelware company in New Jersey. Huh. And this was like part of their foray into bigger budget gaming. And they did this. I, I don't remember the other games, but the other games were atrocious. They didn't, they weren't even good games. Um, and they they had a, a year of just like hard failure, like abject yeah. failure. <laughs> and the majority of their of their money came from um, like those controllers that you would plug in the TVs. Oh like, yeah, like, and like, those, uh, like the arcade like Atari yeah, things, yeah, yeah. 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 And Atari and a bunch of other <laughs> arcade companies just that year decided to get into that market. Oh. So they got hit on all fronts. So this game comes out, Psychonaut comes out, is getting all this critical acclaim. Right. People are loving it, and it do- it just pans commercially. Huh. And like, so this is like a through line through all of Tim Schafer's career that is sucks, putting out the, Joss Whedon. He's yeah, he's like the Joss Whedon. Well, and, not now. What yeah, do you mean? Not, well, yeah, Joss I know. Whedon I know. Is like he's rolling got around on a pile of money, yeah. and just jerking off into it. But the funny thing is, is the people kept he kept he kept making games and kept getting funding until it kept it happened a couple more times. Right. I think Brutal Legend probably was the, the final Legend, straw, right? Yeah. So uh, once that happened, he was out on his own, and that's when the Kickstarter happened, and now. He's become sort of this. Well, they had those other games in between, then the Kickstarter. Right, yeah, the yeah. Costume Quest. Because they took. They uh, did a bunch of, like, downloadable games. Yeah, they, it was called Amnesia Fortnite, and they okay. did a, a, like, I guess, a Fortnite worth of development on four different games. They released those four games That's cool. um, Costume Quest, Stacking, mm. um, a couple other games, um, Middle Manager of Doom, or Middle <laughs> Manager of. Justice. Justice. That's, That's um, a great title. That's yeah. Great. That game's pretty fun. It's a. It's an iP- iPhone it's game. It's an iPhone game. It gets. I mean, it's all right. Yeah, just That's all right. Cool. I it, never played it's it. It's fun when you first start, but like like most like tap and wait games, it, it's yep. just kind of like okay, yeah. now I just gotta wait. Now I gotta wait. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you love that. You love that. You love those games, dude. Admit it. Well, it's not like <laughs> wow. ta- it's not like it Simpsons tapped out or like the Jurassic Park or Nemo's Reef. Mm. That, see, listen, see how he just fired those three off because he loved all yeah. three of well, those. Well, first games. of all, the Jurassic Park one is amazing because you build Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And finding Nemo's is when the you best build it because... to be successful, you build it to. Yeah. Wait, That's why isn't there a Jurassic to, Park roller coaster tycoon you, game? You build it to be successful. Okay. And God. you know, it's got like little fake go BD Wong in there. <laughs> okay, all right. Fake Jeff Goldblum. All right. Fake Do you Sam really Neil. get a fake JG? No way, really? Yeah, he shows he up. Just laying he's there, like, yeah, he stands there with like his hand on his awesome, hip and he's like, man. you know, chaos theory. Blah, 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 blah. That's, so that's fantastic. Oh, dude, that's so awesome. you build it to be successful. <clears throat> yes, that's the idea. So it makes you more gold, so you can make more things. Mm. Can can it break down? Uh, and like Sim escape? City and shit happens. No, yeah. it's not like Sim City. It's no. just like they need. It's a it's a it's a tap and wait game. <sighs> they need a tycoon game. You're right, yeah, Josh. They do. Developers out there, get on it. Also, give me the money for giving you this. Idea. Who do I tell <laughs> this idea to? That gives me money. <laughs> you sold it to Majesco. Majesco, get on me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's sort of the through line for his thing is that he's made a ton of like critically acclaimed games and okay. has never had this crazy commercial success. But he's obviously built a lot of fans because he had these awesome kickstarters and yeah. they're continuing to do this Kickstarter thing and continuing to fund right. games that way. Well, and they just. Recently bought Psychonauts back. Oh, did they? Like, now they own the IP again. Was that like a year ago when it was released right? on PSN? And, and when they put it on Steam. Yeah. Oh, when they put it on Steam when put, was when it happened. Okay. Right. And when they put that on Steam, and now that 
is the most money they've ever made off of Psychonauts ever. In, <laughs> since it came out. This wow. game has been released so many times. I was looking at the release dates. Xbox and PC on April 19th, 2005. Okay. Then a little bit later on PS2, June 1st, 21st, 2005. Then they waited a whole two years, and then when the new Xbox came out, they did the Xbox Originals program where they put digital versions of old Xbox games on right. there. came out then. came out on, on Mac in 2011, and then PlayStation Network on 2012. And then I don't, I don't know when the Steam came out because it didn't say it. Then it got pulled the from PSN, right? Or is it on PSN? I don't know. I didn't check. No, I didn't either. I should. I just bought it on Steam. I would have rather played it like that. Yeah. I also well, bought it on Steam. Yeah, I just was like, eh. I'll I played a works. PS2 copy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice job. Yeah, Sarah bought it a while ago. Oh, nice. I didn't check to see if this was on GOG. I should have checked that. It is on GOG. Ah, I do remember seeing that, yeah. It is on fudge GOG. Balls. GOG. God, Paul. Oh, nah, oh. Dude, forever GOG in my brain. Yeah. I don't care. It's GOG. I don't care. It's, it's GOG. That's like, um, you know, when people say... Paul, you yes. just inspired a million comments. I know. <laughs> I know. Just, uh, I wish. Email Mr. Gog and ask him. <laughs> Our boy over at Gog, he'll talk to us. Dear Gog. <laughs> Are um, you there? It's me, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um, other notable individuals, uh, Richard Horvitz. He was uh, Invader Zim. He does the voice mm-hmm. of Rasputin. Okay. I don't believe you. Did you know that Rasputin, not named after the man who was very hard to kill... They cut his dick off. It was not named after him. His dick's did in the jar. Did they cut his dick off? They did everything to him. You're and kidding me. They fucking mm. fucked him up, and he was like, I'm still alive, because I have magic in me. Really? Wow. They shot him in the head like three times, and he was just like, whatever. Yeah, wow, he's man. a fucking Wolverine, dude. dude. Know, but they... you can see his dick. It's online. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they have it? Yeah, they, they, it's huge, apparently. Where do they... It's like where massive. Do... Where do they... his head somewhere, too? What? Oh, that's, no, fucking, that's... that's... fucking Lennon. Yeah. Lennon's they have all of him. <laughs> <laughs> they have all of him. They have all the parts of him. Where do they hold um his his penis at? I don't know. In their hands, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes in their mouths, I think. I don't know. I think in every in every Russian heart. Yeah. <laughs> a little Rasputin dick. That's great. <laughs> Just waiting to get regrown. Oh, great. so he's not named after Rasputin. Um, he's named after uh the there was a guy. Well, the Raz name, the the, the short version of Raz, came after a person that worked on the game. Okay. Um, but it was named after. I don't see. I guess they. Oh, um, someone else just decided to suggested the name Rasputin, but then they put the Z in it so they could trademark his name. Mm. That's a good idea. Those greedy bastards. I see. And it's, it's, a, and it's fucking cooler. It's like a skateboard kid. It's it me, is. Rad. And he is a skateboard kid. He oh, is. my God. There's so much grinding in this I love game. it, dude. Grind I don't grind that much out. in this. I don't grind that much in this. You don't grind? Dude, everywhere you go, you can grind. I know. I just don't do it. But hey, we'll talk about that. Hold on, real quick. Uh, time to beat 12.5 hours. Kit LeFou already beat this game and said that it took him... 10 hours to be Whoa, a new record. <laughs> uh, Ryan Spencer wrote in and said, not to start up the Earthman argument again, but cult classic. Yeah, uh, yeah I, would I would say this. this it's a cult classic. classic. It's a yeah, cult classic. Definition. I agree to it. Yeah. Of this is cult classic. The, see, this is a cult classic. The reason you don't think Earthman is a cult classic is because it's so well known now, but that's right. because it's had time to build the steam to yeah, be yeah, really yeah. well known. Right. Yeah. I mean, cult classic. Like, I don't remember what I said in that podcast, so whatever. <laughs> Let me remind you. <laughs> uh, play it back. Uh, dude, can you read the minutes? I wish we had a soundboard. Of it. We had a soundboard. I'll just right do now. Nick. Uh, uh, I don't think it's a cult classic. <laughs> everybody fucking knows about it. Because everybody plays it. Uh. <laughs> and and we're back. It's signature <laughs> fart. It's Nick's signature yeah, fart. Dude, my signature fart. Everyone knows you. End by of yourself. conversation yeah. fart. <laughs> 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 oh my god argument over <laughs> <laughs> can't, that's it that's you can't it. go that's a, we're done legally, it's like a legally binding dude it's, it's like gavel. a judge's hammer gavel, <laughs> it's the gavel <laughs> Nick's argument gavel yep. so Psychonauts huzzah what, what do you guys think what's the story about yeah, somebody tell, explain tell the story explain so, the story I'll, who knows I'll it down. better I never run down the story so I'll do it you are Rasputin, okay. a young boy who grew up in the circus aka Raz, AKA Raz. you were born of Carney. Yeah, and gypsies. Folk. Yes. Yep. yep. Kind of racist. <laughs> Only if you racist. think that. Yeah. Uh, in my head, this game takes place in Russia. Yeah, because his name's Raz. Or like Poland. And then there's the Eastern Bloc. Yeah, Eastern somewhere. 
Ukrainian. Yeah, because yeah. you got the the Agent German. Nine. Yeah, the German yeah. guy. Well, there's very. It's also the psycho, uh, the psychological warfare. Yeah, the it's many very Cold goats War. kind of thing, and yeah. all the bad dental care. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, that one kid, dude. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, it is bad. His teeth go out longer than the width Bobby. Of, the width of his face. He's like a hamster. Like he needs yeah. to chew on it's something. It's really hard yeah. to have worse teeth than my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> And this dude has words. She's like missing like her, the whole top row. Yeah. Oh, man, he's not even. But he's not missing them. That's the problem. If you're missing them, at least it's like okay, they're just not there. You don't have any. There's no problem going right. on. This kid's things are just they're jacked up. Oh yeah, yeah. they're jacked. They're just you know, just Yo, that is the definition of jacked up on yeah. ESPN's Sunday jacked morning up. football. <laughs> jacked up. And they just show those teeth. They Wait, do they still do teeth. jacked up on Sunday oh, morning? Fuck no, yeah. they had to stop doing it. What? Why? Because it was encouraging. Because people it was getting... encouraging people to do big hits. The NFL uh, was like, yo, stop saying. Good job on that big hit. I was and so that's pissed. right. Wow. You can't have fun in the NFL anymore. Yeah, I forgot like, about that. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, man. sports haters. Wow. <laughs> Look, I feel like I, that kid's going to psycho camp because, like, he's not trying to, like, levitate shit. Like, he's just trying to, he's like... He's trying to levitate his dad. Well, yeah, he's trying to, like, levitate his teeth into correct position. Oh, oh that he, kid's trying like, to go. Like, races are way too expensive. He's just like, no, I'm just going to use fucking mental powers, do that, or mentally... Adjust everybody to look like I got great teeth. Right, right. that's right. what he's like. Oh, he needs to get for. that crazy Jufro in action too. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is out of control. Yeah, that Kyle Rafalski, like yeah. crazy, crazy. The Brian, Brian Krakow going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Holy shit! The funny thing is, is he's the only one who has like a sort of normal name. He's just Bobby. Yeah, the is that his name? Yeah, his name's Bobby. What's the, red... the kid with the tinfoil? Dogan. No, Dogan. Yeah, yeah, Dogan, yeah. Dogan is Dogan the coolest. Tinfoil? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's awesome. So I didn't notice the tinfoil. I can't no, do I it. Won't yeah. Kill them all, dude. Yeah, the squirrels <laughs> talking to him. Dude, that's funny. And he blows up the squirrels. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Good. Someone left a comment um, on I think the last YouTube when we were talking about Psychonauts and said was like talk to all the kids. So mm-hmm. I've been doing that, and it's like totally worth it. Yeah. Tim Schafer's dialogue is. He's really he's a funny guy, man. Dude, it's I, laugh out loud funny. It is. I, I think, was like laughing at everything. I yeah. was like, this is really good. I think I think if he hadn't gotten into video games, he probably would have ended up like writing for television or film or something yeah. like that. He seems yeah. like he's got then that. He could have been Dan Harmon. Yep. He do he's he's definitely got that type of like yeah. aesthetic, like mental aesthetic mm-hmm. without a doubt. Well, he's got the visual like like in my head I was like, Oh, Tim Burton made this game. Awesome. Like he's got that visually, like yeah. visually everything is like like that. So maybe he's the Tim Burton of video it's games. It's a mixture maybe. of Tim Burton and the, like the Tim visuals. Burton, Tim Burton's dialogue like, is not this smart. Oh like, no 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 no. I don't know. Beetlejuice is pretty good. No no. Yeah. Did he write I don't that? Know if he write, but, I don't know. He might have wrote Beetlejuice. I, I think he know. did. Um, it, know, it's right. got a Tim Burton. It's got a Tim Burton. So one thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tim Burton visual appeal, but right. it also has like a little bit of like Ren and Stimpy yeah. style. Of, yeah. It's not like John annoying Pei. like Tim Burton. It's like early Tim Burton stuff where like all that stuff was like charming. Right. Like, oh, things are curling around and stripes are everywhere. That's cute. I like that. Right. You know? Yeah. Before it got, like, overdone. Before Planet of the Apes. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I, didn't, I, I forgot didn't even about that, that, dude. I saw that shit in the movie theater, and I was like, uh, this makes no sense. Dude, yeah. it had really awesome special effects. Yeah, dude. Then fucking Monkey Abraham Lincoln <laughs> shows up again. <laughs> like, what the fuck is Monk that? Monkey Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it definitely reminds me of, like, of, I, I agree. Like, visually, yeah. I, I was like, immediately I was like, Oh, there's his style, which reminds me of Tim Burton a lot. Right, right, right. But then, right. like, as you, like, when you collect, like, the bags, especially, I was like, oh, that's some Ren and Stimpy shit right yeah. there. Uh, Michael, like, the colored I'm shit. sorry. Michael McDowell and Larry Wilson wrote Beetlejuice. Michael McDowell? Like... Andy McDowell's... You're thinking Malcolm McDowell. Male. No, I was saying, like, like <laughs> Michael, Michael McDonald. McDonald. Oh, Michael McDonald. Yeah. <laughs> I oh. just wrote Beetlejuice. It's the greatest thing Dude, what I if Michael wrote? McDonald wrote Beetlejuice? <laughs> that would be... Michael McDonald was secretly a screenwriter. Like, yeah. they, they just, like had a, Ain't like, no sound. What if Michael? No, no. Dude, that'd be awesome. What if Michael McDowell is his pen name? Yeah, it could yeah. be. Oh shit! Uh, it's not, <laughs> dude. He's like fucking <laughs> writing it. I want Beetlejuice to turn into a giant <laughs> snake right here. Dude, that'd be so. It's good. just in his voice. That's how he writes a script. He, he doesn't even write out, it. Like, yeah, Imagine like Otho. Otho wasn't even a thing. It was like his vocal warm up. He yeah. was like, oh, 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 oh. And then his wife was like, that's a really good name for a character. <laughs> Make that that. Make that that. Oh, my God, dude. Holy yeah, his shit. wife must have a good time with him. <laughs> Hearing that all day. Michael, what do you want for dinner? You know what I want for dinner, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he calls his wife up. Dude, dude yeah. their yeah, relationship. When she's, Jesus. When she's getting him dinner. Yeah, their Damn. relationship is very rough, dude. I want a hop for dinner. <laughs> 
I was in the Doobie Brothers. I will hit you, woman. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. That he that said is, it. He said it. He said oh, it. Oh, oh Mike, this is Michael McDowell saying yeah, that. He's thing. there. I'm not saying that. Oh, man, I don't want to talk to my wife like that. And this is his <laughs> pen name, Michael McDowell. Right. So he can do whatever he wants. That's right. true. It's not, I mean, he yeah. lived by Carrie's not through Michael Beetlejuice, McDonald's, who Michael is McDowell. a notorious scumbag. Yeah. yeah, yeah so. Yeah. We changed it. He was like, look, I can't. I can't have that be my name. Michael McDonald from now I can't on. be. I'm not a wife abuser. You know, that's what he said. A wife abuser. So he's like, he's like, I'm, I'm, he's like, I'm not one of those. That is the most proper term for a wife beater I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm not a wife abuser. <laughs> I'm not a wife mistreater physically. Or... <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have any crack cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which one is the one that you'll go to jail for longer? Crack cocaine? Okay, I'll take the regular cocaine. <laughs> what do you got? You got some gack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so let's let's talk about the, the, the visual appeals a little yeah. more. I mean, uh, what did you guys play it on is my question. A computer box. You played it on a computer box? That's what I did. Yeah. PS2 onto my flat screen, and it was... Uh, mud town uh, yeah, take a trip to mud town <laughs> dude michael mcdonald ain't fucking around dude the guy hates hates his wife and hates psychonauts <laughs> and muddy colors yeah and muddy rivers <laughs> muddy waters uh i played on steam i played on uh, i think i just called them muddy rivers <laughs> R- muddy rivers Cuomo. we're getting everything wrong in this podcast yeah we are this is the wrong uh, game yeah i played on steam uh on my mac uh-huh it was all right okay cool so you yeah. did it did you up the resolution and everything uh, I or don't know. I just did that it? big box thing or whatever the oh the Steam big picture yeah yeah I did that. Uh, what did you do it on your TV? Yeah, my TV. Did you adjust the resolution at all? Mm-hmm. It starts it out at like the native resolution. Did you ad- adjust your resolution? No, just I touch it. it, it whatever. Right. It you guys are gonna your minds are gonna be blown. I like went into the options and I was like, I wonder if there's a way to like make it. Does it look better? Native res- It's un- it's unbelievable. Really, the textures are better. It's huh. like can it you looks read like what it says on the t-shirts? Yeah, dude, it's like a new you game. Can? It's like a new game. Oh wow! Really? No, I don't. I didn't look. I didn't try to read the, te- the t-shirts. Oh, I'll just because you could tell that they're like supposed to say something, right? Like the, and then mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> PS2, dude. Everything. I think. I think you probably can. It's considerably better. It's unbelievable. Hmm. The graphics. Like I, I like was playing it for about an hour and a half. Yeah. What about those the, FMVs? Did they get? No. That's the funny thing is you're yeah. playing it and then it cuts back to the FMV and it looks. Like shit. so bad. Okay, it's like the inverse of what the game probably actually looked like when it came out. You saw those <laughs> yeah. and you were like, "Oh, this looks beautiful." Yeah, right. Because those are like rendered and already compressed, so yeah. you can't like, yep, fuck, we'll make them. that better. Right? <laughs> yeah, they're just little like because yeah. they're not using FLBs like they're not playing. using like the in-game sprites. It doesn't look like no. It's no. some sort of yeah, like yeah. animated. Yeah, separate. It's like a fully animated sequence, and yeah, they they look like shit. Yeah, like huh. they. Are, it's like it hurts my eyes when I'm watching those, and then it goes back to the game. And I'm like, oh, just fuck. throw up. Yeah. <laughs> every copy becomes the fucking vomit bag. It's comes. With, it's like visual epicac, basically. <laughs> visual epicac. Dude, it actually wasn't too bad in the park or uh-huh. the the, the, the camp, campgrounds, campground. yeah. like right. the outdoors. Because like when green. I was going through, uh, you know, World War One Jones. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh my God. There's that part where you go through the secret passage. Yeah. Yep. And I couldn't. I didn't even know there was platforms in there. Like, right. That's how it. shitty it looked wow. on my TV. Wow. And I was like, let me go into the options and turn up the brightness. And the options were like. Invert your controls. I was like, "Well, okay, <laughs> all right." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it looks. You got to see it on the computer. Okay. It looks, it looks unbelievably it better. Yeah, I'll try to fuck with it's it. It's crazy. Because I think mine looked really good. Like I noticed, like, wow, that FMV got really looks shitty. bad. Yeah, yeah I noticed that yeah, too. Yeah, so. it, yours, it might have auto adjusted. Mine didn't auto adjust. Okay, and that's why I just was like, ah, oh, just looks like. And I just kind of assumed it was going to stay like that. I was like, right. oh, it's probably the highest resolution that they ported it on. Right. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh my god. It goes all the way, and I like did it all the way, and like things look like smooth, and yeah. like uh, it has like that that wet quality that Xbox games have. Yeah. Remember Xbox like games wet? wet? Xbox? Yeah. 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 They did, they did, they did. That's Everything true. shiny and wet. It like has that. <laughs> that was because it was just like they were like textures. There's that a texture was the only way it looked on that. Yeah. <laughs> that was so. like the big difference between Xbox and PlayStation Two at the time. Yep, it was like everything is shiny. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Doom Three, dude. Yeah. <laughs> shiny as shit. <laughs> so that's that's what it looks like, but it looks good. It looks really good, and like the animations are smooth and everything. And it, it I'm like it pretty plays happy, pretty playing. smoothly. It's yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of nice. That was my biggest surprise. Like I went into it, and I'm playing it because I I don't have my Xbox 360 wired controller anymore. Um, Why? Because it was my brother's, and he took it back. Because I was too cheap to buy one. Well, I'm going to buy. We one. know where he lives. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> you can use a PS3 controller. What's that? Can that's I? That's what I used. Yeah. 
on your PC the, or on your Mac? PC. Oh, on my Mac, I I used a PS3 controller. I had to like remap the buttons. Do you plug it? Do you just plug it in with the USB cable? No, you oh, connect Bluetooth. through Bluetooth. Yeah. Oh, I got a Bluetooth thing on my. Yeah, you yeah, probably just do that. It's probably easier on PC. Oh, I should try that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Huh. Never thought about that. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been playing it with keyboard and mouse. That's what I was doing too. Were oof. you doing that? That's I know. Crazy. No thanks. You say it oof. wasn't that bad. You say oof. And, it wasn't and that I bad. say oof because I can't do that ever. I can't platform. Life. I can't even platform in fucking real life, <laughs> let alone like on a, any console. <laughs> well, see, I'm. I, you're like this too. I have like lived on playing computer yeah. games. So like wads is like That's my second thing. nature. Yeah, yeah, it's like second nature for me. So like, I, but I was still wary about yeah playing it with with wads because i was like ah, it's gonna be like it's hard it's a yeah. platformer yeah. you know and I, I i was like really nervous about it i gotta say the platforming and people have written in about saying that they felt the controls were bad mm-hmm. they're liars i think it's tight <laughs> it's a really tight it's, game man. it's not after i would say i mean it's simpler than bioshock but it's it, it's more uh convenient than bioshock yeah like you know, Bioshock, I'm, like, fucking going down, hit C, and all this other shit. And that's, right. like, where it starts to get a little complicated when you go down a row for right. me. But, like, all you have to do is hit F, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's just right up next to your hand. The I only mean. place I had problems... We get, we, the, where the do we spinny, play up to? The spinny bullet? The, yeah. That shit sucked. Wait, which part? The, when you're spinning on the guns in the World War II Jones. Yeah, I oh, I didn't part. have problems oh, yeah, with that. Yeah. Well, it took me a while to figure out that... You, gotta you had switch to switch the around. direction, right? And I'm like yeah. getting all raged out, like I was like hulking out. Yeah, because I was like, what am I supposed to do? Like, because right. like I'm like going to the end, like I'm I'm shimmying to the end of this gun, and I'm like, why aren't you switching, <laughs> you idiot? <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, hit F. <laughs> then I was fine. Oh, do the opposite. Oh, do oh do, go against my use direction. your brain. <laughs> use your brain. <laughs> um, uh, no, but uh, the part that I had, well, where where did you guys play up to? I played up to nine. Agent yeah. Nine. Yeah, I did his nice. memory okay. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So when you have to fight the abomination in his memory, yeah, did you guys do that? Yes. The baby? Yeah, I didn't get that far yet. You didn't go to the abomination? No. You, only, you only went in the first time and went, then you left? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you go back and you have to fight this like huge Yeah, monster. I'm in there the second time and he's telling me to like shoot lamps, which I yeah. thought was funny because he thinks they're tacky. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was a really funny, that was yeah. a good joke. A good There's moment. so many horrible good monster. <laughs> it's like tacky ass. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Very good. It's, but you have to fight this monster at the end. Mm-hmm. It's this big abomination, and like what they want you to do is to do those dodges and rolls, and that's like clutch to getting behind him and hitting him with your thing. Right. So Wait, smack which you. Abom- the giant baby thing? Yeah, the giant monster baby thing. The thing that spit the thing at you, right? right. The, the diver. Oh, helmet. I didn't fight that guy. Oh, I didn't go. Back no, 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 not the guy. diver helmet. It's actually a different thing. This is inside of Agent Nine's brain. Yeah, he's like he is has that giant mallet. Yeah, and he has nine. Okay, and he yeah, shoots yeah. the little balls of like right, gunk right, at you okay. filled with the guys, the sensors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't dodge anything. I just fucking ran. Oh, really? Yeah. It's it's a lot easier if you're dodging because okay. you can roll around behind him and you can mm-hmm. hit him with your side bolt, and then he turns around and you just roll around. Uh, I was having problems because I was holding W to move, mm-hmm. and like, in, and in the game, I would imagine you would hit the button and then, and then flick, strafe. and it would like, yeah, yeah it would. And there's like no strafing, so like I was I was doing it, and I kept having troubles like. Where I'd be run, I'd be rolling forward automatically because I was holding W when I would do the roll right. button right. press. So like it was throwing me off. And that was the only only thing I've had an issue with. Otherwise, I don't know, man. I think the controls are great. The the, the platforming is like exact. Like the jumps are like, I, I think it's, it's great. It's just floaty enough. Like it and, locks uh, on well. Yeah, and like the sense of like, a little trouble on those tight that tight rope area because yeah. really? the camera kept for me the camera kept like getting like stuck. Huh. So I would like. Instead of jumping to the tightrope, he would jump over it. Right. And right. Die yeah. every time. Yeah, right. I, I did that like, a few times. Oh, flipping fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there was this one um, in the War Guys mind. There's like these like grates that are on like different levels you yeah. have to like, go across. And I like right. I it took me like fucking twenty minutes to get through that. Like yeah. well, between the camera and the controls, I'm like, what the fuck that is part going was, on? That part wasn't trouble with the controls. That was you say there were like grates and that's part I'm talking about like I couldn't even see them see that shit. <laughs> yeah, oh the only God. reason I knew there was like potentially platforms in there is because there was apparitions the yeah. psychic manifestations right and yeah and I was like okay I guess I gotta go over there and I like walk and I'm like dupe drop to the thing <laughs> yeah. and I was like alright where are the things oh, so man. it was, took me forever to get through that because it was so precarious you had the Indiana Jones at, but every other, every <laughs> yeah, other yeah, portion yeah. though I did the oh, platforming was pretty good well, that starts with a P we got dual conversations going. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, the, I think the platforming has been great. Um, uh, I, the one part that I had problems with um, was did you after you go to nine for the first time, mm-hmm. you go down into that little basement 
under the in, you go into the log and you, you go to the you, tram you yeah, go to the tram, yeah which is funny again that's yeah. a funny yeah. moment mm-hmm. the way that she has like the sexy voice the voice of her that whoever does that voice i don't know the name is the voice of uh ventress from star wars the clone wars i was like oh uh, hey it's ventress yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. i don't know who that is that's awesome she's bald oh okay now i know who that is now yeah <laughs> thank you thanks for clearing that up I'm, I'm trying to help. How's it working? <laughs> um, when you go down there and you go down to that little like thing to reconfigure the eyeball things, right? Yeah. Um, going up those grates because they like bounced up and down. Yeah, they totally wobble. threw me off because I was tr- I was like, all right, I know how to double jump. I'll just double jump. But then it would be like me and start rising, and then mm. I would jump and I would miss. And that's the only time that I had like jumping issues. Everywhere else, I don't know, man. I haven't had any problems. It's been I had the same problem that you did on those ropes because you think like it teaches you how to swing. So you're like, oh, I'm going to swing to right. that rope. So you die the first time because you can't swing to the rope. Right, right. So you die <laughs> once that time. But, like, all the other times, like, you try to aim, but you just have to push forward because right. it just locks it, it on for you. It so it's like you're overthinking it. Oh, yeah, that just sort of – I just sort of did it. It just happened for me for oh, some reason. Yeah. I'm fucking just, like, Neo over here. I just did it. <laughs> Genius. I'm just, I just did it. Paul's I just played the game right. Just stop the bullets with your mind. <laughs> just fucking do That's how you live. I mean, just do it right. Uh, you had trouble Somebody. with that part? Do you know how to game? What are you, do you, what do you, you even casual? casual? Are you a casual? <laughs> Can't stop bullets with your mind. I had a table of casuals here. Wow. You just Cages. Cages. Uh, you know, the lady who did that voice, her name is Nika Futterman. She also did the voice of Dogen in this game. Oh, really? Did she really? Yeah. Dude, cool. I Dogen's, love him. Got, Dogen's got one of the best voices. He's in this awesome. Game. Yeah, he's, he's good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Little bullet bill looking dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they did a great job of was uh, just like the profiles of the characters and stuff, the looks yeah. of them. It's great because like I immediately, went, when I saw Dogen, mm-hmm. I was like, I love that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't even he's didn't. adorable. It's like I automatically loved him. And then like Bobby, you see him for the first time, you're like, I'm a little scumbag. <laughs> you know? And his, and his scumbag, like, lackey, yeah. oh, even worse. Yeah. Oh, what, big ears, big nose? Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> me? the Me, the video game character? No, you wish. You wish you had big ears <laughs> like that, dude. That dude is like uh, a character of like the worst Pee Wee Herman character of all time. He's <laughs> yeah. just like... He's, he's like... Uh, uh, a bad political cartoonist, Ross Perot. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh my perfect. God. <laughs> perfect. Anyone oh born God. before 1992 is not going to know that. I don't know. Nobody don't born. Know. Ross Perot. Nobody born in no, 1983 they, 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 is going to know. No, they did Ross Perot on um one of, oh, one of the yes, Snick things. Oh yeah. Uh, that's yeah. right. On Snick. Was that Amanda Bynes? It was no, Amanda Bynes. It wasn't her that did it though. Wasn't on all that. Not all that. Yeah. She didn't do the Ross Perot person. What she was she on that show, but, but she, she was like do the Ross. It was like a Ross Perot style person, wasn't it? It no, was no, like no, man. but that's not who she. It was another girl that played that part. Oh, was it? Oh, I thought I didn't know that. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong tomorrow, internet. I'm not when this up. goes up, <laughs> I ain't looking it up. I ain't fact checking on this. We don't have no internet <laughs> where we live. <laughs> this on is this. Continue <laughs> the Continue Cast bunker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, we bought an island, <laughs> dude. That'd be sweet. <laughs> I wish. Um, we could probably afford like a tiny island, <laughs> a very, like like, like a Lego island in a bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can afford that, guys. Are we storing the USB drive on the island this weekend? <laughs> yeah, That's we can afford we can like fit. a kitchen island. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one of the moving ones. They're not too yeah. expensive. Yeah, one of the IKEA ones. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah but uh, I think controls wise, uh, Aiden Stoneham Stein wrote in and said platforming can be <laughs> tedious. Improves immensely once you gain levitation power, which I haven't gotten yet. Yeah. Um, there's been times where I've jumped, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to miss that platform. And then I land on it, and I'm like, oh, perfect. Yeah, the double like, jump is weird right it's off the bat. not very good. I didn't pick up on that I even had it at first, and I was, like, jumping on – like, I was climbing things. And, yeah. like – because, you know, when you first get to the to the first level to go inside his, in the brain of the, uh, mm-hmm. of the first coach um, – he's like, you can do it or you can wait. I was like, you know what? I'll go, I'll go explore. So I ran around. And they teach you a lot of like your maneuverability things mm-hmm. in that level. Yeah. So I like learned them all outside of the level in that first like camp area. Right, I was like yeah. climbing up and like swinging yep. on things and stuff like that. Grinding, grinding, dude. <laughs> when I when I first jumped on a tree branch and ground and grinded, I was like, all right, this game came out in the early two thousands, <laughs> right? Like well, in the Tony Hawk craze. Yeah, yeah that was especially marked uh, soaps. Oh yeah. yeah, dude, soap shoes. Yeah, right. Yeah, man, soap shoes. <laughs> I thought those were good. Yeah. Uh, I was too old for that stuff. Yeah. yeah, that was right under. That was right after me. I know. I didn't do. I didn't touch that stuff, man. But why didn't they ever combine Heelys and soaps? I don't know. Oh, dude, that's just that's just a lawsuit. That's, <laughs> that's super dangerous. <laughs> that's, yeah. just, that's just crazy. It's like why didn't they combine dynamite nitroglycerin <laughs> together? 
<laughs> Wait, no, they did do that. Crazy on crazy. They did do that. It's called dynamite. TNT. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Explosive thing with other explosive things. Sawdust. Thanks. Sorry, Nuke Buddy Rippers, with dude. a TNT. Mm-hmm. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just to get it a little extra kick. <laughs> no, but... Uh, that would have been genius. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I did all my like platforming exploration there, and I was like, oh, I figured all this stuff out. Yeah. And by the time I got into the first level, like I just tore through it because I was like, I know how to do all this because shit. Because you're Neo, and you're yeah. just so good at I it. I played it right. played the game right. I'm not yeah, a casual. Well, not super stupid casual like me. Yeah. Uh, I was super impressed that when you do your double jump, it emits light. Like, things light up. Mm-hmm. Oh, based around off you. of that, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, that's a nice little yeah, touch. It's, it's, yeah, like, it's a nice light like effects. lighting effect. Yeah. That was kind of cool. They could have just like let you do that, but like mm-hmm. the environment reacts to yeah. to it lighting up, which is pretty cool. I'm telling you, when you when you get into this and you if you raise the resolution, if your re- resolution isn't already high, mm-hmm. uh, it looks really good. Like it's surprising how good this game like yeah. holds up. And I guess that's it's probably true for a lot of games um, of this era. It could probably be. Not easily updated, but could be updated with yeah. higher resolution textures and stuff like that, and they would look really good still. Just those FMVs, man. Fix them. Yeah, Just man. Fix it. Just re-record yeah. them all. Got the technology. They still look again. better than the Fallout videos. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. Holy shit. Don't get, don't get me started on, like, Creepy late face. 90s. Yeah, late 90s video. Oh, like... Uh, like StarCraft, fucking yeah. the Admiral. Yeah. He's just like in the camera, and it's like, you're... This is the scariest guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... The voice, like the syncing, was great. Mm-hmm. Like the, like it wasn't they were game? Ju- the yeah, a- yeah, it wasn't the ADR. like yeah, yeah, it wasn't like they were just like bah, 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 oh no, you know, like everything it's, like synced up like a real animation kind yeah. of thing. It's it's you can tell, you can tell that there's a lot of attention paid to it as as if it were an animated right. like short. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of like it's it's cinematic. Yeah. It's got it's. it's I just cinematic. watched uh, Wet Hot American Summer again yeah. the other day before I started playing this, so I was totally in the mood to go to camp. Dude, yeah, and I was like double I camp lo- week. Yeah, I right. love that about this. Like, mm-hmm. I love the setting of it. I like I like a game that has like a very unique setting and a very like different setting, and I like that this is like sort of it's like. The fun arrow, to go the into it. Is yeah, the coins. yeah, yeah. It's fun to go into it because it like you're like it's pure escapism. Mm. You're going away into this like kind of fun little world, and it's cool too because your your character is literally escaping his drudgery of yeah. a circus life, which is albeit probably a pretty right. fun thing to do. It's like overbearing. Hang dad on, here's a thing. Stuff. Go on. What if this is an alternate world? Okay. Rasputin uh-huh. is really Dick Grayson. Dude. He left the circus before his parents died, and he never became Robin. He became a psychonaut. What? That's cool man. Boom. He oh, does have the Catwoman what? goggles. Yeah. So maybe, like maybe it, he's right. There's more evidence Holy for you right there. Oh, wow, dude. You he said left the, the Flying helped. Graysons before the Flying Graysons became the Splatter oh Graysons. <laughs> what if he came back Jesus. into his old reality, and he was the one that caused the deaths? Whoa. Paul, you're fucking my whole world. Dude, he up. used his mind bullets to kill Previously his on Lost, <laughs> <laughs> mind bullets, dude. That's yep. good. That's good theory, man. I yeah. Like that. Put it on a uh, Reddit th- uh, fan yep. theories. Put it on smoking gun, dude. <laughs> yep. Yep. This is me, you know, slapping my hands. That's together. it. Podcast <laughs> over. Podcast yeah. over. Uh, Podcast done. done. One thing I really liked is about those arrowheads was mm. uh, someone's asking or talking to you about it. And they're like, oh, it's from an Indian burial ground. They buried yeah. their dead oh, yeah. here. They're, yeah. they're dead here. No, they buried their arrowheads. And the guy's like, the one guy's like, what? Good. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Dude, they, the comedy in this is so it's good. Really good. It's good. It's and really do you remember when um, Brutal Legend? Yeah, it's very charming. Do you remember when Brutal Legend was coming out and he did those videos with Jack Black? Tim Schafer did them. But no. yes. So Tim Schafer did vi- these videos with Jack Black as like promo videos, mm-hmm. um, and they were very funny. They and he wrote them all. And he acted in, in them as well. Mm-hmm. He's a really funny guy. He's just a naturally very funny person. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I think what I liked about this game, um, and we've always had in video games, like, sort of auteurs of video games. Mm-hmm. But, like, this is one of, like, the earlier ones. And, like, just seeing him, like, kind of, like, his style evolve over the years. Like, it's really exciting to have people like Tim Schafer, mm-hmm. people like... Um, you know, like Sid Meier to a certain extent, and and uh, Will Wright to a certain extent, in that like they their their games have like a, a feel and a you know that they imp- like kind of imposed over the years. Mm-hmm, right. But like people like like Tim Schafer, who are like they control every aspect of their game. They're mm-hmm. like their hands are in every aspect. It's like really like neat to see those kind of coming up over the years because it's sort of like as the medium evolves, you're going to get more of that, and you're gonna it's going to be less about right now. We're in this like blockbuster like 
golden age of Hollywood, you know, just right. dump dump out movies, dump out games. Right. But that's crashing, and I think we're starting to enter that sort of. I hate to make a direct analogy of anything, but it sort of seems like we're entering kind of like that '60s like yeah, era right. of film where like you're getting like you know people like the young like directors are coming in, they're doing it different ways. That's like our indie movement until yeah. Star Wars in. of games happens. Until Star Wars of yeah. games happens. I mean, you're getting that like French New Wave where they're just like challenging yeah. like the idea of a movie, yeah. and they're challenging the idea of a game that's like. Here's a game where you go through life and get old. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. it's interesting. Right? Well, that's what like Phil Fish was doing. And yeah. Yeah. it's a shame like that we lose people like that. But like, well, did I'm, he die? Yes, we lost him. Did something happen to yeah. him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm being facetious. I know you are. <laughs> but uh, internet, I know what happened. But I'll encourage Stop it. Stop telling uh, me about actually, it. Actually, Josh, he just resigned. That's all. He Good. Resigned. I fucking hate Phil Fish. Like, the fucking guy. Oh my God. He said <laughs> Japanese games are terrible one time. So obviously, he's an asshole. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> uh, but 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 like guys like him are like, yeah. but they're doing. I that. think there's actually uh, a better chance of success for gaming now, even though there's like a glut and it's still very console based for success. Mm-hmm. Right. There's more distribution methods now for games than there were at that time for film. Oh yeah, yeah dude, definitely. and especially right. there's also more distribution methods now for games than there are for film too. Right. Yeah, yeah, because there's a lot of people who want to make films, but it's basically iTunes or go home because right. you yep. can't get it into a theater. Yeah. Right. Well, it's interesting. It's like, can you would the French New Wave and stuff would those like indie movies then be what they were if there was like Kickstarter? But at the same time, we would probably get like better stuff. It's hard because like the more like accessible the stuff is, like. You know, immediately you're like, oh, great, anybody can do it. And then, like, the downfall is that anybody, anybody can, can do it. it. You know yeah. what I mean? So there's, like, more noise to weed through. To get I, I think it would have been stuff. worse. Yeah. But I think yeah. it might have been, yeah. Because it's had a success through adversity thing. Like, they had to use film and they had to, you know. They yeah, had limitations always, and it was good. Yeah. It's always going to be like that. Like, like right now you say, like, oh, I like games. And you're like, oh, yeah, Call of Duty love, fucking rules, bro. Right. Like, you're like, oh, I love movies. And they're like, yeah, fucking Transformers rules, bro. He's yeah. like, no, man, I don't like those kind of things. I, I like both that. those things. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay to like those things. not a joke, things. Internet. I like both of those things. It's okay to like those things, too. What if they combine Transformers and Call of Duty? I literally just shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> At the mere thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> and not literally like the Internet just changed the definition. He just did. Like, I, I did. Like, I did. <laughs> that idea was so great, my bowels opened up and <laughs> expunged themselves. Right. Like, like, literally in the sense of smelly dookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you were saying, though, about more noise, I think there is more noise. Right. But there's an e- it's easier now for you to find people that you trust that yeah. will give you that will cultivate and um sort of like uh um not cultivate but uh what's what's the word um curate yeah things mm-hmm. for you there you can you, things are more easily curated as well so it's easier to go out and find hey i really like this type of game yeah. i want to find more independent games that are like that i agree that there's a lot more noise though and it's, yeah. it's, it's there's a lot to sift through but we're sort of i just think we're entering that period now where it's getting. It's getting. It was all about the individual back in the seventies, eighties. Yeah. Then it became super blockbuster. Sure. Because they sure. were like, we can make a lot of money doing this. Hmm. But now it's coming back to the individual again because it's like punk rock. Right. Like punk rock coder can grab his laptop and go code anywhere. Yeah. And do whatever. And he just. Uh, punk rock coder only <laughs> codes at Starbucks, so people can see him code. You have to know. That's true. But at the same time, I feel like it like dilutes everything. I don't think like, it's neither good or bad. No, I, man. I like don't. think about it, like think about it, like making a movie in the fucking sixties and seventies. Yeah. Right. You had to have you had to have fucking balls of steel. Right. Like the True. failure rate is so high, and there's so many things that can go wrong, and you have to trust and like work in this sit- weird system. Somehow. Right. But you could also say that people had ideas for movies that could have been amazing that never got made because of that. Yeah. And there's probably like great stuff that that just never happened. Yeah. But then there's also like time has forgotten the shit. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. And there's right. plenty. There's tons. I mean, fuck. Yeah, and that, Mr. Science Theater. All those movies like are good. from then. Yeah, you know? yeah. Those shitty movies that people were like, <laughs> "I'm gonna make the greatest monster movie." Yeah, and it's just the. And then worst. you get people yeah. who are like, "You know what? I want. I know what I love. Shitty monster movies. Yep. You know what I want to make? Shitty, shitty monster, monster movies, movies. Right. forever. Yeah. Shittily. Yeah, that's that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you're gonna have that, but I think it's interesting because. Movies are going back that way now. That right. the ubiquitiness, ubiquitiness, mm-hmm. ubiquitiness—that is a word. Ubiquitousness. There it is. <laughs> of of technology to make these movies is, is now available to like everybody. I mean, I think you're seeing it. it it's sort of like there's these 
Preston Valleys of right. like large production and low production sure, sure. in in film and games are going through that too. But it's funny that they're going through it at, at like sideways with 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 movies as yeah. well. So like they're kind of like they're not going to have that. The video games will never have that '60s era, but they're going to have the same era that movies are having right now. Can you yeah. even call it, it an era? I mean, because it's so fast. Like you, people turn on a dime. They they yeah. they don't like something, and I mean they'll just they'll be like I, that's the consensus is this is dumb, so we gotta swing it back the other way. It's like yeah, week had, by week, no man. time to mature like they yeah. did before the advent of instant yeah, communication. Right. It's hard to right. really think of a cult classic. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, despite what good or bad is gonna come out of this, I just think that it's cool that we had that we have these people like Tim Schafer yeah. coming out you know, over the years and, sure. and sort of establishing themselves as like names and faces in this industry. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's exciting to see that because it just shows you that this, I think that I think it shows that this medium is going to have the ability to, to for there to be authorship over yeah, the game. They're going to have the rock stars, which is great. Yeah, right. You know? Which is cool. I think that's great. Cause a lot of people say like whatever, with the art, what video games as art thing, you know, everything's an art, right. but I think it's cool that you're going to that you can if you can put your name on something and like make a statement like that's cool yeah. that, that that is available in, well, that's in, the, whole in point. the in the video game in the that's, video game space well, yeah. that's what you want it to be you yeah. know like you know I'm not on anything it's Call of Duty but like you got like 50,000 dudes working on it or lady dudes also yeah. and like yeah how do you have one person stand out what as are you like, going to say what are you yeah. saying well right. I mean guns <laughs> i guess <laughs> yeah. but but that's fine too like that's it that's okay to have that i mean i play that game but you know if you really want to say something you gotta have like a name on it or, yeah. or a small group of folks yeah they have to like Th- someone has to idea. one person has to direct it because right. you need that voice in right. it you, th- you don't think so luke you're sort of no I'm not, I'm not i mean most games only do have one director right yeah but those directors well, yeah. i guess like their stuff isn't their style isn't apparent. They just become like a television director, and like mm. sometimes you got to get. Or like, maybe they're more. Or maybe they're just more collaborative, and they allow more voices in the yeah, creative because, process. I mean, there's just so many more facets to it that like. There's so many things. Yeah, I don't. It's it's tough. It's it's not really a, a comparable thing to an actual film director where no, you develop so. your style because the style isn't yours. The style is the style of the studio and the people right. who designed it for you, and you just say this fits in right. to what we're going for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's still that that guy like like directing it. There's he's he's all these creative juices are flowing, and he's kind of like channeling all these things into like his vision of it. It's it's, it's but, a collaboration of like all these different. Everybody has their vision of it, and ultimately, there's one guy who's like in charge of making sure everybody's vision is like pointing in the same direction. No, there is, but I I just. It's it's not this he there's no like signature style on a grand scale. Yeah, unless it's unless you're Phil lacking, Fish think, and you though. made the entire game. But that's not a grand scale, Phil. That's right. A, right. Yeah. What do you mean? On, or what are you talking about on a grand scale? Like, well, like with this game, or you mean just in? Well, I mean, Psychonauts is indicative of the studio. And, yeah, and the and Double Fine is. Is Tim Shaver's studio, right. so that's why it has his style. Right. He's not it, just right. like the game director; he's like the studio right, head of the yeah. studio. Right, right, right. I so, see. What you you're know, it's the same with like Ken Levine, who's not just right directing Bioshock; he's also head of Irrational. Mm. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's probably more. I, I, like that's probably the better analogy is a director of a studio is probably more in control because they do the hiring and they well, they right. assemble or George the team. Lucas, yeah. but you know, like yeah. he had to walk around with this marker and mark the thing. Right. And, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. you know. Like, right, yeah. Where, what other movie studio does that? Like, yeah. none. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> but, I mean, it's a collaborative effort like filmmaking is, and I think if you are if you don't have a... If your leader, the person who's sort of heading the entire project, oh, doesn't I'm have leader. a strong... <laughs> I'm, <that>? leader. <laughs> I'm leader. I'm <laughs> leader. If, if you don't have a strong creative vision, then it's not necessarily going to be a bad thing that you create. It's just not going to have... A, a unified creative like hmm. look, outlook, you know. Yeah, I agree. I think it gets a little muddier, gets a little less clear uh, as to what like the point is, maybe, the, you know, of a game, right? Like because they 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 you know 
not to use the movie thing like we were doing, but like it's the producers <laughs> get a hold of it and they're like, well, you got to change this to this. I'm sure this. that happens in a lot yeah, of games too. Yeah, yeah. all time. I mean, but again, I think that comes down right. to and the that's creative the other person. Thing too. There's right. developers and there's publishers, which is, you know, the studio versus the production Publi- company. The, production company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a, it is kind of a weird thing. But like, you know what I will say is exciting about this time is that because everybody is so vocal, there's a better chance that like the cream is going to rise to the tippy top more. People are more like people are more willing to like know. put something I don't know, like man. You seen YouTube? More. Yeah, that's what I, <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. I think that <laughs> YouTube's a whole other monster. <laughs> I think that there's like hyper criticalness, and it just it, it's the boy who cried wolf. Like, if greatest some, thing at game, yeah. What if is, greatest the, game of the game week, of the, of the, year, year, the week, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if and, and and you know if if enough people complain about something, they expect it to change. Like, well, Mass that's Effect Three, or you know what I mean. Yeah, well, that's and true about that. I think, but I think. <laughs> The, the Boy Who Cried Wolf game of the year of the week thing is is definitely in existence, but that's if you listen to certain hive minds of people. Right, yeah. and that hype probably exists in all Everything. It's, yeah. it's all entertainment yeah. Like, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. aspects of it. So I, think, I think the true thing that you got to do if you want to, especially in today's day and age, is find people that have similar tastes to you, that have curated like a, a, a selection of things that you've liked before, right. and then listen to those people and go, okay, I can trust this person's taste. Yeah. And they'll, they'll help me find the other good stuff out there. That's what you, that's what you really need. You can't just go and be like, Oh, I'll go check out what game ranking says is the best game. This right. Week, right. Here's, know? here's a unified number of what everybody says. Yeah. You need people yeah. like minded people. You need like the fucking Roper or like, yeah, uh, right. you know, you know, but in people. that, in that vein, like when something truly memorable for the year comes around like you recognize it even if it's like january right it's yeah, like yeah. you know you know this is the best thing i'm gonna play all year yeah it's yeah. like immediately resonating mm-hmm. right you know for me it's it it, it had like like psychonauts has like a style and like whenever i play a game i'm like this game's fucking great it always has like it totally a style that might just be it. me the way i like games and stuff mm-hmm. like that but like oh. that's i think that's like something that Something that helps it stand out. Like, if you can add a style to your game to make it, like, memorable. It's got, this game has so much character, it's, like, ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. To think that, like, a game can have this much f- funny stuff yeah. in it. It's like, charming as shit, man. I, just, I can't get over like, have you played, it. Like, have you played any other Tim Schafer games before? Uh, I don't think so. No? No, I remember you guys talking about Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend, I, out. I only dabbled in. I never played yeah. a lot of that. But Brutal Legend's pretty fun. It's yeah. got a lot of the same humor, yeah. except it's all, like, heavy metal, so yeah. it's awesome. So his Dom game. I yeah. love his philosophy. I love his, like, wait, like, I read about how he came up with this game. He was making Full Throttle, which was, like, a racing point-and-click adventure game. Right. Um, and he wanted one of his characters to take like peyote or or, or something or mescaline <laughs> or something, mm-hmm. right? And have an acid trip, and you would go inside of his brain, yeah. And you would explore inside of his brain, like a la Psychonauts. That's cool. But they said no because he was working for Lucas Arts at the time, right, right, and right. they were like, "That's not family friendly enough. We don't want." George that. Lucas came around and wrote his perfect. But his thing. he's like, <laughs> "No, Parker. no acid trips. <laughs> <laughs> no acid trips in my games." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but he, he, so he, he was like, no, you know, like, all right, I'll, I'll hold on to it. And then when he struck out on his own, yeah, he was like, oh, I'll just make a game where it's all going into people's brains. And that was cool. And then he did, um, for Brutal Legend, he was like, I was listening to a lot of metal music and it, metal music is all guys singing about like, you know, they're wearing all these like studded things, like yeah. looks like armor and they're, and they're singing about fighting goblins and stuff. He's like, well, I thought it'd be funny if. It was just a world where that just actually happened. Yeah. yeah. Where it was just metal dudes that fought goblins yep. and stuff. Yep. So uh, I lo- I love that, that kind of thought process. That, like like immediately I was like, this game's smart as shit. Like it's it's like I could tell like I was like, okay, we're gonna do some like like crazy mind world stuff. Yeah. And that's cool. And the it's mental like, baggage dude, and the like so that stuff funny. is so Cobwebs. smart. It's so yeah. well done, man. And like <laughs> like that kind of thought process, like one of the things I love about Metalocalypse is like a world where metal is the norm it's like, right. like king. Yeah, entertainment it's like, tonight is like reporting is. on metal stuff and it's like they're singing about you know fucking ron james dio is like doing shit and right like that that's like <laughs> the where the world takes place and he like he creates a world like i know every video game creates a world but this is like a world it's well you, it's believable yeah yeah it's yeah. like you sit down and you're like yeah i uh i think this would actually exist somewhere mm-hmm. like you said like an alternate dimension this is like right. an alternate alternate dimension that exists somewhere and yeah, there's like a there's like a currency, like a social currency to everything, you know. But you're like, oh, I believe that they need 
these psychonauts to fight psychological wars right, right there you know it's so dark too yeah like they're just children and they're like training them to fucking be killers yeah, they stick right? them in those like sem- sensory deprivation chambers i love stuff, that line dude. they oh no they haven't used these since the 50s yeah, <laughs> like, I thought that, yeah. that was really good that dude, was a good one fighting the americans man yeah everybody in this game is russian dude dude yep game even game the players. russian guy who talks about the bear <laughs> the naked bear <laughs> yeah. yep I and I love that they, yeah. like, they put him in those sensory deprivation chambers to create hallucinations, basically. Yeah, so he's yeah. like all about like talking about it's, these. Like it's very smart. It's very yeah. like I mean, like Dogen is like the Zen Buddhist. Yep. You know, it's all yeah. very inside the head. Yeah, you know everything. In, like uh, you know, sensory deprivation. People paid money to do that. Now, yep. like you can go yeah. take acid and sit in one of those things. Yep. And, Oh my god! You figure your life crazy. out, I guess. <laughs> you don't even need to take acid. You could just, just sit and do it. Thing. No, that's the whole thing. You just, you don't take anything. Your you mind just sit yeah. you. Some people. some people do. <laughs> Joe Rogan does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, uh, funny that person who wrote in about the uh, the controls, Aiden uh, Stoneham Stein said the campers remind me of my alternative school in Connecticut. They're fun to talk to in between missions, just like in real life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that's funny. Was like, that's pretty funny. That's really good. Uh, it's, it's an alternative school. You never, you don't know about alternative schools in Connecticut. Yeah, what is that? You don't know about those? No, what is it? There's they have like schools up there where like you don't get grades and stuff. Even art school? Yeah, but that's here, Paul. It's like uh, art school, but like no, it's even it's like. Full, well, I mean, like, we got we got like opinion grades. I think no, this is good. A. That's right. not. They don't. Even, there's no that like A at the end of it. It's just like you did it. Good job. What you do? What? The thing that you're supposed to do for school. But well, I mean, what do they teach? I don't know. I think they teach no, they, like regular. They, I think shit. they teach like they teach you math and science and all that stuff. But it's like there's no like like a lot of them like don't have grades and stuff like that. They're just like you passed because your parents are paying like a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> and but they're very like prevalent in Connecticut because there's a lot of hippies up there. Yeah. Okay, so it's like uh, like is it like a boarding school? Is that are they? Yeah, two different I think things? I think usually they are boarding schools. It's okay. like Hebrew school. Okay. Yeah. I just need to make everything public schools and just. <laughs> <laughs> Just make everything communist. Look, everybody mm. needs to get stabbed once in the seventh grade. All right, yeah, everybody <laughs> needs to, an American yeah, experience. Stabbed. Mm. Well, you didn't a get lot stabbed. of kids get pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Have your first. Uh, well, that's how you that's how you weed out the yeah, good public schools, yeah, man. <laughs> Social Darwinism. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's how you. That's how you, that's how you weed out the people shit. who are gonna make it, and yeah. the people who are gonna help you make it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a fucking realist thing. That's <laughs> it's like I need to know who I can step on. Yeah. <laughs> if if they're dying, I'm gonna step right over their dead oh fucking God. bodies. <laughs> I want to go in your brain. I yeah, yeah. spewing oh into God. your brain. It's very flat. <laughs> <laughs> it's linear. Oh, dude, it's I gotta read. There's not a lot of things retained in there. <laughs> no, no new yeah, yeah. Oh, that's made. A, this is a good tangent cast topic. Yeah, <laughs> what's in each of our brains? Let's do that. Yeah. Oh well, I got that actually. Luke Beck wrote in. One, he said, what's cool about this game, and I agree with this 100%, is what's fun about it is because each brain is a different world and a different, like, stage, yeah. you get such drastically different, like, environments to you go into. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. cool. Like, that's such a brilliant idea. Um, he also wrote in and said uh, who we would be um, in the game. Okay. So, Josh, mm. um, you're... Yours would consist of the party like an Agent Vodello. I haven't gone there yet, mind. Except it would consist of orgies and other deviant activity. Also, Josh is a Jedi because I'm pretty sure that's all he's ever wanted to be. Yeah. Well, thank you. you. That's great. That's I thought nice. you, you really pulled that one around, Luke, because you almost lost him with that <laughs> deviant <laughs> stuff. I could tell. <laughs> Well, like I, my the sexual deviancy is greatly exaggerated. <laughs> if if these people knew like what my real life was like, they would be like, yeah. "This guy's a fucking dork, man." <laughs> because just it just war- consists of me only wanting to be a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> the, the orgy room is like one room in the Josh Bordello yeah. one. Right. Yeah. right. All the other rooms are like Star Wars rooms. There's, a, yeah. there's Star Trek in here. Yeah. There's you know, there's a couch room and a yeah. bedroom. This is where I keep my Star Wars figures. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. There is a room with just ass. Is yeah, they just Everywhere. go in and slap. Just, dude, the Sir Mix-a-Lot ass. It's, that's it's where the it Sir Mix-a-Lot that's ass. That's where it went. Where it went. <laughs> we figured it out. It's in my brain. Uh, Mike Sadorf, <laughs> just okay. a thousand copies of himself in an empty room, conversing <laughs> and talking over each other about meaningless bullshit. Yet it is surprisingly entertaining once you get used to it. Oh that's... my god! It's a library full of mics agreeing with themselves. Yep. <laughs> so it's, oh it's a kind of a compliment. Doctor, 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 doctor. doctor, doctor, doctor. doctor. Oh Luke, my god. Luke Brown, the stuff of nightmares. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> well, you just said who's going to help. Sorry, like truth bombs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Nick Murphy, Nick's mind consists of a world where all water has been converted to ketchup. <laughs> yeah. His yeah. mind is in a perpetual action movie. Die Hard is flying around fighting Ewell Brenner. Fast cars are speeding down highways. Also, it has the color scheme of Sin City. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. That's pretty, pretty funny. Yeah. And then mine is uh, Paul Ritchie's strict order, like Agent Nine's mind. Since he can't control the continue cast, he compensates by having complete control of his own mind. Also, it has a lot of smart jokes that nobody can understand but himself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which is pretty goddamn true yeah, about that's me. That's a nice dig at yourself yeah. for making that list. Like, yeah. Paul yeah, makes wow. jokes I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what, what was that? Oh, uh, I didn't make that list. No, no, I know. I'm no, saying to that guy, yeah, like, yeah, way yeah. to self-deprecate by saying yeah. Paul makes jokes you don't understand. Right. Yeah. 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 The, uh, that kid that drew that picture of the, the episode... Uh, where we're all Adventure Time. Yeah, where I'm like the mm. oh, the Lich King, the yeah. Lich King. Yeah. Where you live, bro? Where you live, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I laughed at that. It was shit. too so, good, man. So true. That's, that's true. And that now that I see that, that that probably is that's yeah. your persona. Yeah. Accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just love that it's just the full face. <laughs> where do you live, bro? Where do you live, bro? <laughs> and so dark too. Like, so only imposing. The eyes. That's so good. <laughs> oh my god, um, dude! It's like a, a Ralph Baskin, uh, like Hobbit or Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bank and Rass or whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. yeah Ralph Baskin or whatever. Bank and Rass, whatever. Yeah, those, yeah. those horribly like roto animated horribly they're pretty bad they're pretty bad Some of looks like somebody band? took the Johnny, thing through like, a photocopier yeah. and then I colored it a shit. bunch of times like it, is, it is character but I'm i don't sorry. like their animated stuff i like yeah. their stop motion stuff yeah. really i love that stuff yeah i love it for some reason i don't know it reminds me of being sick yeah dude their yeah. songs are really good though their songs are fucking they are mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. yeah the, the dwarf song Haunting. I was thinking of this, this jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> you can hear my sleigh bell ring. Dude, it's so That's good. Beautiful. That was like an Earl uh, Burl Ives, wasn't Dude. it? Yeah, man. It's Burl Ives, I think. Should have been he's Michael McDonald. <laughs> uh, can you do it? <laughs> hey, no. Jingle, jingle, jingle. jingle. It's hard because you can't, you can't do, can't do the up tempo. Yeah, you can't do up tempo. Michael McDonald. <laughs> Uh, Carl Schultz wrote in real quick. He wrote in second time medium time, which I thought was clever. Because uh, the second time writing in, second time medium time. <laughs> oh my god! First time, long time. Second time. That's a dad time. joke. I liked it. Yeah. Dad. I am becoming a dad. That's a dad ass joke. Dad ass joke. The figments can go right to hell. Who makes collectibles that move around the stage? I was like, what? You're right. That yeah. did suck. Oh, and they're fucking two dimensional. Like, yeah. fuck yeah. that. They're shit. hard to catch. And sometimes you jump off of things trying to catch them, and mm-hmm. you get fucked. Yeah, that shit sucks. Yeah, man. Collecting there, in a video game? Nah. I, that's the one thing I don't like about this game. I'm okay collecting because I know that it's leveling me up. And that's kind of cool. But I don't like that there's... A, it's like It makes me like short of breath because I'm like, <gasps> like yeah. there's too much to collect. Okay, what's over there? Yeah. yeah, yeah I don't like, like that too, either. Like, I feel like I'm going to miss something. Yeah. Then, it's just there's just like black light images like just yeah. popping yep. in. I'm like, what the dude, fuck is weird. that? And they're Perfectly. all like distorted. They are exactly... They're like black light poster images. Oh, dude. They're, they're like... They're like like a, a CSI set designers like acid party like these yeah. like we we'll just put black light paint everywhere that's what it looks like yeah, yeah. and that's what like these figments are it is cool that they relate to whatever world you're in no and I agree it, with and that. the memories that's cool yeah you know like the agent nines are like there's like the baby and there's like his dad and there's mm-hmm. like all that stuff yeah which is kind of interesting yeah that, that stuff was cool mm-hmm. and. I, and I like the baggage. I love the cobwebs. Yeah, the Viewmaster thing is cool for the memories. The Viewmaster thing was neat. Mm-hmm. That was cool, like stylistic choice. Because it's like cool that it switches it up for you a little mm-hmm. bit, you know? It's good uh, storytelling. Yeah, it is. Right there. It is. I'll do the one for Ancient Nine. Oh, Have you man. gotten that yet? It's like a non audio voxophone. I get it. <laughs> it's like the it's <laughs> oh like the God. things that you walked up walked up to. What? The video scopes that you yeah, walked yeah, up to. Yeah, 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 yeah. The kinetoscopes. Yeah. Kinetoscopes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. What were you saying about the Agent Nine? Did you see Agent Nines? Have you yeah beating the boss yeah where like his right? mom dies or yeah, mom, yeah. yeah that actually like got to me a little bit i was like watching it and i was like oh yeah oh, that's it's a shame yeah, yeah. <laughs> luke's like meh i don't care I it's a shame that that fake person who never lived died <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. in a game she lived as right. much as anyone else did <laughs> i'm being luke right now <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame that i don't guy's, cry that guy's mom died he got mad german <laughs> yo real quick music <laughs> yeah yeah how good is it it's good it's good i was listening to it's other like music. twin it's like twin peaks man yeah I I wouldn't I wouldn't listen to other music while playing this game. Really? I actually would listen to this music. It's like rockabilly. Like, it's got that like rockabilly country yeah. like of like Tarantino mm-hmm. that he uses sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Except in the really campground, notice. dude. I like turn yeah. the music off for the really? campground. There's like one bird that I just hear. 
all the time. Uh, that's all I hear. Repetition really sound effects. Yeah. About the music. No, I, I like it's got like that that jazz, but then it goes to like that country rockabilly style a little bit. It, like kind of oscillates between those. I two. believe you. I'm just saying it doesn't really like I mean, resonate. Yeah, if Michael McDonald didn't do it. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> or Burl Ives. Or Burl, or Burl, Burl Ives. Ives. I uh, I I like it because I like I that was my like my favorite favorite thing about Twin Peaks was the music, mm-hmm. and uh, it just gave me like that same like creepy but yeah. like homey vibe, you know. Um, there was one piece of music that, uh, oh, I had this other theory that this is like Jedi training camp, uh-huh. that this whole thing is set up to be that basically. Right. When you get a merit badge, it's Star Wars music. It's Star Wars plays. music. Yes. It's the, the throne room theme. Yeah. Right? And there's another, there's another song too, that is also a Star Wars song that isn't this the throne. There's the throne room and then there's well, the they Empire the Rocky. Sound, right? They play the they play Rocky. The fake Rocky. Fake That's Rocky, what it was. Yeah. That's fake it. ass Rocky yeah. oh, shit. That's right. Part. When you get the... F- first uh thing and he gets You're up on the, on the pedestal. pedestal it's the fake it plays thing. like a rocky theme and okay. then the then there's the empire theme though because i heard that or not the empire theme the throne the room it's like yeah 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 it definitely is i heard that like three times and i was yeah. like what the fuck i was like they're just straight up taking that they're just stealing it <laughs> they're yeah. just stealing it <laughs> rebecca got excited she's like are we getting married again <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what we came out to in our wedding thing. it was fantastic Thanks. it was good I felt yeah, like Chewbacca. From me. Thanks. You were. You went. Did you do it too? <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, did you do it too? <laughs> we did it at, after we walked out to That's that. right. You walked out yeah. to it. What did you walk out? Came up, come out to first. What did we come down to? Yeah. Men came down to uh, the final countdown. That's yeah. right. Final countdown. And Sarah the came girls out to came a down song, to right? uh, no, the final song. fantasy song, wasn't it? No, the girls came down to uh, uh, all you need is love. Yeah, that's right. And then wasn't there a Final Fantasy? And then song? Sarah came down to uh, the the George Harrison one. Uh huh. That other song. I got my eyes set on. You. No, no, got the my, fucking. I got my mind fucking, set on you. Uh, it? Here comes the sun. Oh. Yeah. Here comes the sun. Yeah. Here comes the sun. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. <laughs> and then we went into the reception to uh, Clutch. Ah, that's right. I could have sworn there was a Final Fantasy song involved. Maybe it was a pre-song. Maybe there there was a lot of like pre-music and like in between music that was yeah. definitely some of that stuff. I, I, but I could have sworn I remember like a Ramon song, but I don't. That I don't definitely know. was. That was our. That was, was our song. Did you say was it? Our there song was, was a Ramon song. When you oh, dance. which song was it? Uh, I want you around. Oh, okay, yeah. That is the song that we danced to. Yes, that is our song. Gotcha. And no, no other wedding will ever have it ever. So we could never dance to it ever again. <laughs> My cousin walked out to uh, the Dragon Warrior song, just the walking around song. <laughs> That's really it good. Was so, so silly. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, man. I hope, Dom, I hope Dom's wife doesn't mind that he comes out to Cannibal Corpse. I, know. <laughs> I come blood. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you know you got a keeper. Yeah. She's stuck with that. I'm going to dance with my mom to What's Your Fantasy by Ludacris. <laughs> so get ready, mom. I'd just be like, like dipping down. Just in fucking get all nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you to twerk for your mom? <laughs> yeah, just get on the what's wall, that, just dude? twerk. What's that? What's that? My Drop neck, that, my that, Oh, that, that, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. My my neck. Neck. yeah. That's, that's Jen great. refuses to sing the, part, the My Pussy. She'll say, she'll, she'll, she'll be like, Why? My neck. My back. And then she'll be like, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> And she'll get all quiet. I'm like, why don't you sing that part? And she's like, because it's gross. And I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's I was not. like, be real. No, come get on. Real, you get got, real, You Are you kidding me? <laughs> you got those parts. Get come on. <laughs> yeah, you got those. Everyone's yeah. got those. Yeah. What's that other one, though? Except that, like, me. drop oh. that, 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, drop that. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd be a good song to dance with your mom, too. <laughs> we should make an album of songs to dance, rap songs to dance, dance with, your, with your mom, too. Just, like, lady, like. <laughs> dude that was the hardest thing like picking a song to dance to your mom with Peaches. i know you Peaches remember when you asked me i was i was like that i was like i was like let's just go with that mom what do you think <laughs> she's like i don't know your grandmother's gonna have a hard time understanding the words so let's pick a different i would one. be i would be like nah. wasn't invented until like 1972 <laughs> <laughs> we're not making a hollywood blockbuster it doesn't have to appeal to all demographics right, here right, you know exactly. but there's so many like it's just hard to like not come across cheesy yeah you know? i know you know well, Psychonauts theme. Just pick that. <laughs> yeah, dude, I like the theme. Um, all right, so let's let's wrap it up. You want to vote? You want to do a vote here? All right, do it. We're doing votes. All right, who are we starting with? Not it. Not it. Okay, Luke. I will continue. I'm gonna continue. Are you really? You sound <laughs> reluctant to continue. I'm not reluctant to continue. I just 
I played up to that point. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And my memory card didn't have enough space. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my no. god! <laughs> so I'll have to replay it all again. But well, I you'll think have it to would go worth... back in time to 1998 and buy a memory card. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be worth uh, checking out the rest of it. I'd play that part over again, knowing how. I could do it really easy. It's, it'd yeah. be really you fast. Yeah. It pretty quick. Except for all the fucking collectibles that you, you gotta, gotta get. Yeah, fuck it. You gotta get to level 10, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Nick? Uh, I think I'm gonna game over. Really? Yeah, I enjoy the style and I enjoy... Uh, I think the story's probably got some good, interesting stuff in there. I just don't want to do the platforming. Really? Get that I would stuff. Thought you would have thought you would have loved the platforming. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. I just... I just don't want to do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, I will. Like, I. I think you know, you're going to because I'm going to continue. Well, we might have a tie, possibly. We don't know. Uh-oh. We'll find out. Let's uh, find out. I was. Uh, I kind of agree with Nick. Like, I think it's a really good game, but I just don't want to p- play it. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I just it's, don't, not a, it's not a lazy thing. It's just it's like. It's not. It's, it's just, like, I'm sure this is interesting. I. I you just can't get into it. The re- yeah, the reward is yeah. not worth the time to put in for It's me. not like at the end it's going to... I mean, maybe it is. I maybe. don't know. But Are you going to go to bat for that game over? Because I'm going to go to bat for my continue. I mean, I'm, I'm, I said my game over. I ain't going back on it. I ain't going to fucking backsies. <laughs> Apple says, <laughs> you're backing up. Backing says you're up. right, Nick. <laughs> I'll, uh, I... Well, this is, this is very new to all of us. Yeah. What so, do we do? Well, what we had we it do? for, we had it for, we had for the last time for the Pokemon one, we had a split as well. And we no, went we with didn't. the game they over. No, game we, over. we, we no. had, we, we had, had a split, split but, but you then, guys yeah. conceded immediately. Yeah, we conceded. Because you guys were like, we played it already and we don't really care. Yeah. yeah. I want to continue because I actually really want to see more of this game. Okay. I very much so want to play more of this game. What do we do here? Yeah, so what's... I mean, if it's a, if it's a definite 50-50 deli- split, we're going to have to figure this out. What Live should, on the internet! What should we deliver it? it? Mm. How should we deliver it? What's the, well, I mean, I feel like flipping a coin or rock, paper, scissors are, are solid. I was going to say rock, paper, Yeah, I was going to say that's not the good way to go. <laughs> <laughs> what, rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> I just wanted to disagree with you so we could have an impasse on <laughs> yeah, our We need to have a deliberation <laughs> about our deliberation deliberate. process. Yeah. I mean, would it be too much to... To, 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 to let the, the audience decide? <gasps> That's a good call. That's a Change brilliant a idea. But does, I know what the answer does, is right now. Does Psychonauts get a second episode, or do you want to see us move on to X, Y, or Z? That's a good So we idea. give them Psychonauts episode, episode 2 mm-hmm. or three other potential games. Okay, so we'll do a poll on Facebook and Twitter then. We'll do that. Yeah, you know they're going to pick the new game, though. No, Not they're going to pick this. Not necessarily, though. I mean, people might this. want a second episode of this, but they also might... Not want to force you guys to play it if there's a better choice below. Right, mm-hmm. Dragon mm. Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> We're never playing that Dragon on this Force. Podcast. So okay. we'll, we'll have to decide on three other games. Mm-hmm. Okay, well th- we won't do that now. We'll no, do that yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll figure online. that out. Yeah. Uh, so what? Uh, Monday after the podcast, we'll put it up. I'll put it up the day of the podcast. Oh, okay. Be, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I'll do it on the same time. day. And uh, so we'll have to come up with the games before then. Okay. I like that idea. That's a good idea. We'll, we'll let the we'll let the audience be the. They'll, they'll raise their voices and clap their hands. This benevolent or... dictatorship is turning into a democracy, and I'm thoroughly <laughs> against it. <laughs> benevolent dictatorship. The people have a voice until we say it doesn't count. Yep. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're going to be putting video on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, be ready to look out for that poll. Let us know if we're continuing or game-overing this game. Mm-hmm. On Facebook. On Facebook, yes. on Twitter, at Continue Show. Also, be sure to send your thoughts in about this game to ContinuePodcast at gmail dot com. Yeah, and uh, be sure to um, do some reviews on iTunes if you'd like. Um, review this, give us some stars, do whatever you got to do. I'm gonna read a couple. Paul, I was gonna say you should read some. Blastotron. Wow, <laughs> fucking name. killer name. They you rule. Nick can see lens flare. No. But can't but can, but can he see why kids love cinnamon toast crunch? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a good throw. Uh, kicks man, it's Nick tested mother. Poop. <laughs> Girl Josh, Bizarro review, not as good as Game Overcast. I didn't know we did that. <laughs> the Game Overcast, that'd be interesting. That would be good. Well, we don't know what they do. <laughs> Jody <world>. Milkstain. <laughs> <laughs> Jody Milkstain. Jody. Oh. Jody Milkstain. That's Ro- what I don't even. This show changed everything in my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am a person with a phone, right? Luke Tinu is watching. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm here. 
<laughs> Rune 13 wrote, huh? Huh? <laughs> I thought this podcast was, I thought this was, this was Podomatic podcast. I don't know what that means. I think we were having that issue with Podomatic before. Oh. Uh, what, what do you mean? When we were like, it's still something that's messed up with the RSS feed. It kept coming up as oh. like Podomatic, not continue. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, whoops. Oh. Made... oh, sorry, sir. Trying to find the Podomatic <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, uh, Ri- Riser 911. Uh, Paul Riser. Paul Fuck Riser you. I know you listen to this shit, Paul Riser. Is this, is this Paul Riser's attempt to get Rescue 911 back on the air with him as the host? <laughs> or Paul Riser. It's not mad. It's not mad. His, his screen name is not mad about you. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Riser. Did 9-11. Don't. Don't. Why would you say that about Paul Reiser? Don't. Hold on. He gave us a new... He gave us five stars and said, not enjoying the new direction. I've been listening to the... the, Oh, because he's talking about Mike. (laughs) 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 I will go away from that one then. (laughs) Jake Smooth. (laughs) Why does this guy not like the new thing? Oh, he's talking Uh, about Mike Seydorf. There's plenty of happy Mike stuff coming up. Jack Grimes, a.k.a. Wounder Addict. Mike's not going to listen to this. No, he Only, might. Oh, he might? Okay. If he's not on it, he listens to it. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Only two, We love Mike. You guys should shut up. Stop being mean to Mike. <laughs> 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 Only two things are better than this podcast. My MySpace playlist and Harry and the Henders. <laughs> Holy shit, those are two awesome things. <laughs> those are great. <laughs> Whoa. My favorite podcast, but is in a tie with the S list. Uh, Whoa, that's, that's a super throwback. Fucking... Super throwback. Ricky Santini wrote in the C team. Your A team personas: Paul, Hannibal, Luke, B A, Josh, Murdoch, Nick, Face, Mike, Captain Sosa. <laughs> Captain Sosa. <laughs> Is he the guy that like arrests them? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Was he a character? I, I, I have so. no idea. I like being face. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. And usually in that scenario, I'm like the B A bracket. But I like really? to fly. I like being the face. Yeah, but I like to. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I don't really drink milk anymore. Yeah, you're mm. you're BA? Mm. Bradley Interesting. Cooper, I like it. <laughs> I'm surprised that I got Hannibal. You should have been Hannibal. No, you're the original there. Starbuck face. Yeah. No, I'm Bradley Cooper. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give yourself Bradley Cooper. All right, dude. <laughs> Touch that guy. You're, Brad, I, you're, I immediately you're Bradley Cooper in American Hustle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're, you're Bradley got, Cooper in Wet Hot American <laughs> Summer. <laughs> <Night> meat train. <laughs> you're gay Bradley Cooper from Wet Hot American Summer, and you yes. marry Michael Ian Black. Yes. Dude, dude that, I'm married. I'm married. that love scene in that. Dude, it's intense. It's man. really good. The fucking socks rubbing against it's each like other. Really it's like really good. It's like a really well-directed sex scene. Yo, I love that song that they wrote for it. I don't remember <laughs> the it. The fucking yeah. like, Rocky montage song. <laughs> for the movie or I for that how scene? it goes, but yeah. It's... Taking me higher, oh, yeah. higher. Oh, that yeah, song. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. You should use that in that episode. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's really funny. <laughs> that's like super obscure. That's a good idea, yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> now everyone knows. They ruined it. They don't know what episode. You don't know, bro. Don't but know, I already have now. Now it's not this whatever. little indie thing in my back pocket. Now it's too big and you sold it. No, the no. They get a little peek behind the curtain, man. They, we're, having, we're having show notes in the middle of the other show. <laughs> um, <laughs> P2KF360. 10 out of 10. Two thumbs up. Five stars. Wow. I wish you guys were my dads. <laughs> that guy, that guy's username is actually his Wi-Fi login. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Didn't tab. He's like, why am I typing this? J-Man, exclamation point, exclamation point, money symbol, money symbol. Damn. The most radical of podcasts, sweeter than Bruce Willis' oh, sing voice. Oh, thanks, sing Mace voice. dollar sign. That's a great name. Yeah, remember Mace? Dude, Mace was like, Dude, Mace, he's like a yeah. reverend now or something. Owen Llewellyn. Uh-huh. Sergeant Dick Boner. <laughs> Thanks to Paul, I now frequently use the words like Grayfix and Dragon. Mm-hmm. That's how you say them. <laughs> That's how you say those words, I thought. Uh, and then we'll stop with Viva, Pot- Viva Potatoes. Oh, Better than okay. watching Tropical Girls play baseball. <laughs> Greatest Is that podcast. Fun? I, don't, I, mean, I, like, I think it sounds like entertaining. No, I, I could get greatest, behind that. Yeah. <laughs> Greatest podcast ever to be spoken by handsome men. Damn, you're too nice. Yeah, oh, wow. thank God we're handsome men. Because thank God we got nothing going for us. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> well, Amen, we, brother. We have nothing going. <laughs> Amen, <laughs> brother. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for listening to another episode of the Continue Cast. We'll be back in two weeks, and who knows what we're playing? Not even us knows. Not even us. The <laughs> men's that are handsome that say the words that is this podcast. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Tangent Cast. My name is Nick. I'm Paul. I'm Josh. I'm Luke. <laughs> 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 All right, we got a great topic. Piggybacking on our discussion of Psychonauts, mm -hmm. where, a game where you go into other people's minds. Right. What would your mind look like? Paul Richie, go. What would my mind look like? Yeah. Oh, man, that's a tough one. It'd be a fucking mess, that's for sure. Yeah. I'd like to think of a quote that Kurt Vonnegut's brother would always say. What a surprise. <laughs> Holy crap. What's his brother's name? I don't know what his brother's name Skirt, is. Chuck. Skirt Vonnegut. Vonnegut. <laughs> Wait, what is your Skirt. Chuck and Skirt Vonnegut? Yeah, that's yeah Kurt and Skirt. It makes more sense than <laughs> yeah. Chuck. Yeah. Kurt! Skirt! <laughs> it makes more sense. Than Come over one! <laughs> Skirt, it's your weekend. There have been no. men named Skirt. It's Kurt and Kirk. Wait, no. Kirk, Kirk it's Von. Dirt. Joe Dirt. Joe. That's, why, that's why your dad changed your name from Vonnegut to Dirt. Oh, oh no. Wow. You figured it out. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Boom. My brain. Truth bomb. He would say, because he was a scientist, people would come into his office and they would go, it's a fucking mess in here. They wouldn't say that because it was the 40s. And they don't say fuck in the 40s. They did not. Well, only <laughs> not when they on were the killing TV. Nazis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, and he would go, I think that's a mess. You should see up here. And he'd point to his brain. Oh, that's man. That's so good. It's like a statement yeah. because it's clearly very messy in his room. <laughs> so his brain would be... Equally, if not more messy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I think my brain would be a pretty big goddamn mess. I would also think it would probably be filled with a lot of diseases. Um, oh, yeah. Natural disasters. Yeah. It's basically the apocalypse up there. <laughs> Mine's the last level. Mine's the last level because there's all. It's just things trying to kill you left and right. Just <laughs> paranoia. Yeah, it's just paranoia. A lot of like, like smoke and mirrors. Yeah, I'd imagine that'd be the beginning. You would go in and it would be smoke and mirrors, and then you would go, go behind the mirrors to realize to that there's actual, just real actual terror, them. <laughs> actual terror and death. <laughs> oh my god, that's my that's my brain. Yeah, that's why we. Wow, yeah, that's, that's crazy. And then there'd be like a little joyful center, a little joyful nougat center. That's How do you my, get to that's it? That's where my kindness comes Is it even from. worth getting gotta, to it? <laughs> I don't know. You became friends with me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say no. Because then we're not going to be friends anymore. <laughs> well, then it's worth it. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I guess that answer is that. Yep. Uh, mine is the beach from Contact. <laughs> with okay. Oh, on the, on the alien planet. Yeah. That's what that. it looked like in there? It looks like that. Is there. that alien there? Yeah, but it's not my dad. Okay. It's Jodie Foster's it's dad. It's Jodie Foster's dad. <laughs> and you go, ah, oh, Jodie Foster's character's dad. When you yeah, say that's why I, yeah. yeah, I say, hey, but you're actually an no, alien. Yeah, for you it looks like that. For everybody else, it just looks like 18 minutes of static. Yeah, yeah. for everyone. <laughs> and they're like, wow, what, 18 minutes? Where'd that and come how from? How many people saw Contact? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. I'm looking up the thing. I haven't seen it. I mean, you're only, so only 50% of the people in this room have seen it. <laughs> it's oh so good. God. I Googled the beach from Contact. Not good results. Oh, not good? No. Not Let really getting see. much. I'm getting None beaches. Starts full? I did that, and look what I got. This bullshit. Yeah, it's kind of... There you go. That's, that's a great the beach. shot of it. Yeah, that's that's it. the beach from Contact. Is that it? Well, there's... I mean, it's... Is it's that a, That is a still picture. So in the movie, this, there's more of those yeah, put together. Here's the yeah. thing. The still picture that, that we're looking at is a screen cap. If you Google the beach from, from Contact and look at the image search, the first one that comes up is a picture of a YouTube video <laughs> of, the, of a... Letterboxed version of the movie. Uh -huh. Poorly pixelated. That's what my Highly brain looks like. This is what my brain looks like. <laughs> this picture. If you Google it yeah. and it's the first picture, Jody that's Foster. what my brain looks like. I gotta put that in the show notes. <laughs> that's gotta go in the show notes. Show notes. That's going in the show notes. Also, in my own brain, I'm naked. <laughs> and I'm uncomfortable being naked in my own brain. And there's a ton of like other Really attractive naked people. Okay. Why would you do that to yourself? In <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Why would life be that way? Why would Paul? life be I don't that know. Way? <laughs> I don't know, Paul. So that's, that's nice what's going beach. on. That's a nice looking beach. It's, it's a like, nice looking it's like beach. Gilligan's Island. It's yeah, beautiful. but Josh is naked on. Like I'm that. uncomfortable in in my own skin, in my own head. Wow. That's, what what that's is somebody crazy. visiting? So, wait, do you buffalo bill in your own brain yeah. when you get up there? You just keep skinning people so you're not in your own skin? <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were going to say, do you buffalo bill people like, like do I tuck my dick between my legs? Because <laughs> I would leave my dick out because that's probably one of the best features I have. <laughs> like, that's like the only thing I got going for me. It's like, I kind of have a nice dick. Sometimes. It's a shame you don't wear tighter pants. <laughs> I wear pretty fucking tight pants. I don't know. It's true, know. it does. 
Now, yeah. what is like somebody who like comes there for the first time? Like, what do they like? I'm hiding from them, so they don't see you at all. I'm fucking you're like naked, a cat, bro. You're like a cat when someone goes into your house, like you're like yeah. a cat that just goes and runs and scurries and hides under something. Yeah, like a dude. Oh, okay. Fucking, it's terrifying in there. It's What's the un- boss? The boss? That's the boss the of boss. your brain level, yeah. It's just a bigger naked me. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> With an axe dick. Swing yeah, back and nice. Like, like a pendulum dick? Ugh. It's a bigger naked me. <laughs> half of the face is me, half of the other face is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Unafraid to be naked. Just, my, and the, my dad was not afraid and to be the, naked. The, the half of the face that's your, da- that's your dad is slowly overtaking your face. You're yep. becoming your oh, big shit. naked yep. dad. It's like Victor Victoria. Dude. <laughs> what? I don't even real. know what that is. That's where that... It's a half dude and a half mm-hmm. chick. I don't know that <laughs> yeah. one. And they, you, they like look like they're dancing with each yeah, other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You never saw that? I never is saw that. Google, Google search it. Jesus. <laughs> Put that in the show notes, I'm not too. cultured at all. I just know about fucking Skirt Vonnegut quotes. <laughs> Skirt Vonnegut. <laughs> I just keep thinking of uh, Venture Brothers when... Uh, um, fuck, what's his name? Um, fuck, the guy with the magic murder bag. Oh, I know that. Uh, uh, Killinger. Henry Killinger. Yeah, Henry Killinger is like goes in Rusty's head and like yeah. his dad's there. Hi, Rusty! And his dick his big has dick. his dad's yeah. head on yeah, it. Yeah, Henry yeah. Killinger's head yep. on it. Dude, yeah. It's so crazy. I know this so now. Great. I remember this. The what? The beach the, scene? No, the Victor Victoria yeah, yeah. thing. I just didn't oh, know the name okay. of it. Yeah, That's right. All right. That's scary. It's uh, my life. That's yeah. what I exist that's inside my brain. This is like a there. peek into like everybody's real shit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I just pulled, I threw out some real shit just yeah, then. Josh, that's crazy, <laughs> wants to live on a beach and be naked all the time. I don't want, that. no, he doesn't want that. That's his biggest fear. Well, oh. here's the thing. I do want that, but I'm, you're afraid. But of I'm it. terrified but of your, the things. But your id won't let you. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Id, and then you fight the super ego. I don't need to go to therapy anymore. <laughs> you just need to do a podcast, dude. dude. Same thing. Yeah, let it out, man. Yeah. Let it go. Let it flow. By the way, what's your s- super boss? Yeah, what's your boss? Just crippling paranoia and. <laughs> Hyperventilation. A giant probably. red scare comes yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's, Ch- it's a fucking Chucky doll. Oh, oh there it is. Terrible. Yeah, yeah man. Um, it doesn't have to be a, like a branded Chucky doll, but it's a living doll. I don't think they fun. know that story. That's the scariest thing. Living that's- doll. It's a Chucky doll that's never sick. <laughs> Paul's worst enemy. A Wolverine Chucky doll. <laughs> what about what about Doll Man? Doll Man? Doll yeah, man. from like the the those uh, crappy like. B movies like the puppet, the, the, the puppet, puppet masters, masters? Puppet masters? Yeah, dude, that shit, that shit oh, was dude. horrifying to me. Who's Doll Man? The Doll Man is actually the, the main that, one, right? The Doll Man is a different guy that he's like a miniature man. I me- I messed it up, but it's from the same thing because okay. it's like Doll Man fights those guys in one of the oh, crossover really? movies. Because I love Puppet Master. I love yeah, the yeah. knife hand guy. The knife hand guy with the face. Yeah, he was Doll Man old. is also a comic book. Okay. Right, it's like a golden age comic book. But you know what I'm talking about, right? The, that yeah. couple, like Third Moon or some yeah. bullshit. They have all those terrible movies. Yeah, Doll Man versus Demonic Toys. Google search. I think oh, in the Demonic third toys, Puppet Master, it, yeah. you see some oh, German dude. tits. <laughs> dude, this these covers scared the poop out of me, man. They literally scared the poop That's out terrifying. of me. That's terrifying. I was so scared of the of the uh, Puppet Master things. <laughs> so scared. Should have been. Yeah. Oh, the guy with the drill head. Oh, oh yeah, no, pinhead yeah, yeah. or whatever. No, no, dr- no. The the puppet with the the, the drill. Yeah, he head. had the drill head. Yeah, and he uh, would run through people's legs and yeah. shit. Like, uh, dude, this like I the movie store near me where we would rent my video games. Mm-hmm. The video games were right next to the horror movies, and I had to walk through them. <laughs> and I always see like the puppet master covers. <gasps> yep. And I was just like, uh, ah, no, that's uh, games, 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 games. That's like, how we started renting them. We would rent games at the video connection. Yeah. Where I live. Yeah. And we'd be like, these look crazy, and we just yeah. rent them and just stay up all night and just freak yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, I got of that age where I was like, okay, now I'm yeah. cool with this. But like, for I'm not all, like, afraid of Candyman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always, totally. afraid. Always, afraid. always afraid. I won't eat. A, I will never eat a cookie in front of a mirror ever. No, there's nope. no way. Uh-uh. Uh, Luke, what about you? What does the inside of my brain look like? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it should be good. I don't know. It's like uh, rainbows and kittens. <laughs> no, it's like uh, you know, like in an in Inception and stuff. They go in everybody's brain. And it, like there's like those cities. Yeah. Okay. Except my city is like. Uh, I guess like the it's the best example would be like the city in like Mirror's Edge, mm. where it's just Ooh, everything's cool. all clean and in order and in like two colors. Okay, yeah, like yeah. the whole time. Mm-hmm. So red and white. Yeah, so it's just <laughs> yeah. like or red and black. Just the same thing. Well, red. I mean, I guess in your brain, Tron. red and black is kind Tron. of yeah, kind yeah. of like that. Just like super clean, <laughs> like inverted Tron. Right. That's cool. That's it. That's just it. very very <laughs> orderly. Just, but yeah, just because very... there's nothing. There's nothing. 
There's like no, yeah, you no know, emotions. There's just, no emo. It's just this there is, is no this is just a, emotions. Everybody just hangs force. out, walks around. You do your job. It's just comic books Every, everywhere. Yeah, man. Simple. Wow. So it's just a it's just a, a like a slightly saner version of the real world inside of your head. Mm, probably. Yeah, good job. <laughs> you like, did a good job assimilating yeah, this yeah. crazy world. It's like perfection. Yeah. It sounds like. yeah, I want to live there. So Everybody beautiful. else says no, but Luke's. I'm, I'm down for that. <laughs> well, you don't want to live in my naked world and see me naked. <laughs> I want to go to that beach, man. I guess if I got to see you naked, that's you don't want to get. You wouldn't byproduct. see me naked. You would. You wouldn't I hate the beach. You don't want to get Ebola and monkey AIDS and all the other things <laughs> that are inside of my. You don't actually brain. get them. You just think you have all those. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Yeah, you just think oh you have them. Oh my god, uh, mine would be very like. It'd be like clean, but like you'd have to do these like rituals to get through. To keep oh thing. my god! There's not like like not like OCD rituals, but like little <laughs> things. Like everything has its like place and its spot. That's, That's OCD, OCD rituals. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is. But like if you don't do it right, like. There's like an angry cloud that just like comes that's down. That's, yeah, that's OCD that's rituals. That's OCD. You mean like the guy from Mario comes after you? That yeah, the angry, yeah. Oh, the angry sun. The angry sun comes down. Sun? Yeah, angry yeah. sun. Yeah. He just comes down and is like, you didn't put that in the right spot. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> burns I'm you to death. Ang- you know angry sun's got a name. I'm looking it up. Yeah, he does. Dude, angry sun. That's what dude, it is. angry sun. I'm like, I don't know. Dude, there he is. Angry sun, Super Mario. Oh, what's his name? Dude, it no, it's just Angry Sun. It's just Angry Sun. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Metaphor. Yeah. We really, we really nailed that yeah, one. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's my fucking brain. Who'd have thought? That's crazy. No, yeah. wait. In other language, in Italian. I don't care. His name is Sol Malvagio. <laughs> Angry Sun. <laughs> Angry, Angry Sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Meaning Evil Sun. Evil oh. Sun. There you go. Just maloik him away. That's why your sunglasses on. You can't. You can't. You, you, Can you not Malloy a sunglasses wear? No, man, you can't Malloy glasses at all, dude. <laughs> dude, what are you thinking, man? You don't know about Malloy. I don't know about Malloy. Man, uh, glasses are equal to, if not stronger than, the peppers <sighs> that are around Malloy's to protect from Malloy power. Yeah, yeah greater than. <laughs> I love that you're just like mine wouldn't be OCD. But it's OCD. This it's is kind of, it's which mild is, OCD. Which is exactly what someone with OCD says. <laughs> like, I don't have OCD. And then no. they totally no, have wait, OCD. Wait, how many hands did I raise that time? I don't have OCD. I don't have OCD. No, I don't, I don't have, have like, like season two of Girls OCD where it just like, or like the Aviator OCD. Well, that's like Tourette's. That's like, <laughs> that's yeah. like almost That's Tourette's. like crippling OCD. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that. I can function. That's like, I'm going to hurt myself. <laughs> You're a high-functioning OCD holic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For yeah. now. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Continue Cast. Our theme music is written and performed by Chris Connolly, aka Datacats. Check out his Facebook page at facebook.com slash datacats. The Continue Cast is produced by Paul Ritchie, Nick Murphy, Josh Henderson, and our special guest, Luke Brown. Email us at continuepodcast at gmail.com. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash continue show and follow us on Twitter at continue show. everybody this is luke Uh, my wife and i are game journalists and we are currently working in the industry and she along with uh, about 50 other members of the game journalism industry some people from game development and the mental health profession have started a new initiative called the take this project and if it's all right with you i'd like to share their mission statement mental health is a hard thing to talk about depression and anxiety can be overwhelming but so easily dismissed as just feeling sad or needing to relax It's far too easy to simply not talk about these problems. They sap your motivation and self-worth, making you feel like nobody cares about your suffering. And so we suffer alone, quietly. The Take This Project understands the complex reality of these problems. The immense relief on a day when you feel great, the sinking feeling when you sense the trap door start to open underneath you, and the simple exhaustion of living when you're at your worst. It's dangerous to go alone. Take This is meant as a helping hand. We're here for empathy and for support. 
We share our stories and our time in the hope that anyone who is living with a mental health issue doesn't have to go through it by themselves. We've been there. We've had loved ones who have been there. And we want to help. We want to talk. We want to hear from you. We want you to live the life you deserve. Take this. The Take This project consists of around 50 members from within games journalism, games development, and the mental health profession and other industries, and is a new outreach program which you can reach on Facebook at facebook.com backslash take this project and can be found on Twitter at take this project. So that's something that we're helping out with and it would be great if you guys could check it out and continue to give us support and we'll give you support.